What's going on, guys? We're back. We're here. The time has come once again for... I should probably hit that intro music. The time has come for me to find the intro music. <laughs> now what's going on, guys? We're back for Doomsday Dawn. It's the second session of part two in Pale Mountain Shadow. We're two men down today. No Josh, no Anthony. So we're a four-piece, but that's cool because it's made for four adventurers anyway. So now I can, like... The 1d4 extra gnolls you guys had to fight later, they're gone now. They can go, like, play dice or something. I don't know. They'll figure it out. I believe in them. As always, Justin, Robin, thank you guys so much for your support on Patreon. We were just talking about how if my Patreon gets up a little higher, I can quit my day job and be in metal bands again, and that'd be sweet. But that's neither here nor there. We join Tugar and Kovacs and Chewie fighting this giant angry insect monster i think it was the end of its turn yeah it had just covered tugar yeah. in gross disgusting acid which actually i think uh i think robin i had you're taking two persistent acid damage not six that damage should not have been doubled that damage was doubled on i assumed a thing and assumed it incorrectly before we get down to business though real quick uh let me get Justin if you would roll an acrobatic or no, excuse me. If you would roll an athletics check real quick. That will be uh, your, your initiative order. In that case I will have to change my HP. Okay, so I lost four less. So I'm at twenty seven. Not twenty three. Not twenty three. Right. Well just switch forms again, you'll get some temporary hit points. Yep, that's pretty much what the my plan is. <laughs> that feels good. That feels a lot like the 3.5 druid, and I like it. Without just, like, snap your fingers twice, full hit points. That was yeah. mean. It's gonna say Elf Boy, because I don't remember his name. <laughs> we, we literally <laughs> just picked that name. And you got a 10. Okay, so... Got 10. It's... That means you go right after Kovacs, so I'll move you there instead of hitting the button. Tugar, you're up. This strange you couldn't quite identify it you're not sure what it was but just kind of like a giant ant lion its mandibles clacking and it hissing at you has reared back and covered you in acid what are you gonna I'll, do about it i'll tell you what i'm gonna do about it i'm gonna open I'll my doomsday go. dawn pdf because that's where we're at now <laughs> <laughs> well tuger isn't feeling so great that acid hit real bad Took about more than half of its hit points in one go. Ooh. Well, actually, I think it took exactly half now. Now that uh, the, uh, the persistent damage wasn't that high. Because uh, uh, I took 27, and now I'm at 27. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> um, but uh, he's feeling a bit scared for himself. So uh, he thinks the snake egg form isn't quite doing uh, enough. So he hisses at the creature, and the hiss turns into a roar as he shifts from snake to bear form. Because nice. bears are awesome. That's this party. <laughs> I mean, he mostly needed the snake form to get out of uh, that quicksand, because it can swim. Yeah, that is a thing. Yeah. So let's morph into the bear. And so it was. Get those, get those 10 temporary hit points. Oh. And you don't and have to go back to your regular form to do that. You can go from snake to bear. I mean, uh, last time we uh, pretty much uh, said that it doesn't really take an action to move back because it doesn't say that it uh, does in the spell. Oh, okay, fair enough. Gotcha. Or, I get. I mean, it's pretty much just flavor at that point. If you return into human form before morphing into the other, I guess. Fair. <laughs> um, because it just says you can dismiss uh the the spell. Okay. And so it was. I have no reactions. Um, that feels yeah. bad. Nothing has reactions. There's like very few things have attacks of opportunity in the Pathfinder playtest, and that's it's weird. I don't know how I feel. Yep. Well, <laughs> that's how it is now. Yeah. 
almost no one has attack of opportunity now. <laughs> but, uh, well, oh, we so all we get to be a less less uh, careful now. Mm. Oh, why? Right. Yeah. So, but Morphin still costs me some action. Mm -hmm. um, after, after that, I will just attempt to bite it. Yes, sir. So let's see. That's one d twenty plus one d twenty plus ten to hit. That's a seventeen hit. Seventeen nice. does, does miss. No, I, yeah, dang. You hit the thing, <laughs> but you can't. Your your bare jaws can't quite find a way through its carapace. I'm not sure I want to join this fight. I <laughs> <laughs> think has an ACM 17 to use acid. Well, can I play dead? <laughs> uh, well, uh, Morphin costs me two actions, so. I see. Alrighty, fair enough. In that case, it passes to the quicksand on Kovacs' initiative as I go through this beach here and try to find where the quicksand is real quick, because I forget. I didn't write it down. Sam, do you remember how deep you are in the quicksand? Um, I believe um, you were you were you were at your head deep because you weren't making any checks yeah, at all. It's I the, was at least head deep. You were the wizard. Yeah, you haven't gone under yet, but you're at your head and on the quicksand. The on the quicksand's turn, it's one act in the routine is to pull Kovacs all the way under. Tugar and Chewie, who stands on the ground, both of them super safe from quicksand. See Kovacs just underneath. And it's your turn, Kovacs. Um, Let's learn all about drowning together. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what's happening. But it doesn't happen, like, right now. It's just like, okay. You can hold your breath for a number of actions equal to your con score, or double your con score if you use the breathe deep action. I don't recommend doing so now. Each action that passes during your turn costs you one action worth of air, even if you do nothing with that action. If you have fewer than three actions, you still lose a minimum of three actions worth of air each turn. Each time you take an attack or manipulate action, you lose two actions worth of air instead of one, and you lose two every time you get hit as well. So you definitely okay. can't breathe. It's real dark, real squishy as the quicksand pulls you under. I got uh, 16 con, right, so cool. I'll, I'll keep track of how much that is. Sweet. And so I guess I can use my action to make an athletics to try and pull myself out, right? Yep, that's the idea, trying to swim out of the thing. Does a 17 work? I believe it did. Um, I'm still flipping through this book trying to figure out where it was. Uh, I'm doing a lot of scrolling. Why don't I just control F quicksand? That makes so much more sense. That's so much mm -hmm. easier to do. Desert terrain, cool. Okay, so... The DC is, the DC is, uh, where is it? Oh, 17 just doesn't quite make it. Is it's, it 18? Yeah, yeah, it's 18. <laughs> this wasn't remembered. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh I yeah, did I roll a few 17s last time? Mm -hmm. yeah. A couple of, like, 15s and 16s. A lot of, a lot of Kovacs' mm -hmm. rolls were not quite there. So right. that's one, one gone, right? Correct. Uh, I guess I'm just going to keep trying. That would be There's good. a 23. 23 nice. is good. Kovacs is able to pop his head, his beard covered in quicksand, and his gross dwarf bear guy hair covered in quicksand bursts forth from the sand, coughing up stuff. That's and, 24. And 24 gets you up to waist high. You're able to just kind of like get your elbows up around like where the sand is solid and just kind of like do a pull up, basically. Yeah. As Kovacs emerges from the sand, he uh, curses the quicksand's mother in Dorvich. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That was three actions. We pass to our new guy. Who finds right, himself... His name... Yeah, remind me, would you? Zendarin. Zendarin. Okay, Zendarin is in Katapesh. Uh, did you watch the last episode? Are you caught up? Do you know what's going on? Um, I watched the first half, and then I had to go back to work because okay. my lunch break isn't that long. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so you basically know the gist. You know what's going on. Zindarin was present at the meeting at the beginning of last session where the party learned about the Doomsday Clock. And what is Zindarin's alignment? Um, he is 
Chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral. Okay, great. I was hoping for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's lawful good. Well, that doesn't make sense. Damn it. And he assumes there'll be lots of treasure and things he can steal from the tomb of Tular Seft, so he decided he'd get out a little farther ahead than the rest of the group. Unfortunately, he ran into some knolls and doubling back across this flat bit of... Oh, I think they, they didn't call it a salt flat. Every time we get to this part, I start thinking of the name of a magic card. Sand flats, that's it. And found himself in quicksand, trying to hide from this spooky bug monster that was burrowing under the sand to find predators. Unfortunately, you start your turn with... Hmm... Oh, how generous am I? What's your con score? Not as good as 16. I'll say that probably. No, no, it's 14. Oh, 14's not bad. Okay. Um, we'll say that you've been you've been under for uh, two rounds to six rounds out of 14, though. That could kill you. Mm. After a certain amount of time that you're not sure of, because you've been under the sand fighting it for a while, your head pops out of the quicksand and you see... A snake turn into a bear and try to bite this thing as a dwarf that looks like a bear pops out of the sand and curses its mother. And a goblin is there as well. He looks particularly chewy. You're not sure why. His, <laughs> his clothes are covered in like in some kind of like canine slobber. Okay, that's uh, this what is, you got. This is a weird sight to take in. Um, am I? Uh, uh, what do I need to roll to get free of this quicksand? It's an athletics check. Okay. Or if you have some kind of like rogue shenanigans that let you acrobatics for swimming, because that's basically what it is. I don't think any of my rogue shenanigans do that. Um, I will double check because I have lots of them, and yeah. I'm, they're very generous with uh, this class. Um, yes, they are. They very much are. Um, I don't think. No Maybe a or... rope and hook. <laughs> I don't know. Grappling hook. <laughs> Oh God! If only. Um, I just started watching Gravity Falls not that long ago. I'm just gonna roll the athletics. And sure, an eleven does not out. make it. I, I didn't mean, think it did. You gotta roll pretty high. Oh, oh thirteen done neither. Come on, come on, that's can do it. <gasps> oh, 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 natural. Oh, one. Okay, so <laughs> Zendaran comes up, <laughs> sees the bear, sees things, starts fighting against the the quicksand, trying to swim up and. In the like, he fails so hard the first two times kicking sand around that he doesn't realize he's kind of just burying his head in quicksand and back under he goes. But Chewie and Kovex and and Tugar both see this guy pop up and then pop down. And Chewie, you're up. What you got for us? Well, oh, oh wait, quicksand. Uh. Um. <laughs> How far away is the? No, I see the elf. You saw him for a little while. Okay. Do I can I estimate how far away he is? Yeah, you're pretty smart. You'd say he's probably about a hundred feet away from you, about twenty squares, as the crow flies. All right, I have a alchemist elixir bot that I want to drink called Cheetah's Potion, which gives well Cheetah's elixir, which gives me a plus five to my movement speed. All right, sure. And I'm going to use my turns to try to get over there to help him. Alrighty. Just be careful of more quick set. Yeah, let's let's take that move in uh, five foot increments, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're playing I Battleship. Know. I appreciate that there's always an alchemist to save me because the dice don't love me. It's I not letting me click why. on my character for some reason. Well, you you know you have uh, control of your guy. Don't worry, we all have that. Yeah. Wait, nobody has control. Their... You guys nope. all should have control of your characters. We went over this. All right, there. Dragon Claw has control of Dragon Claw. Tugar has control of Tugar. Barristan has control of Kovex. It's a weird alchemist thing. Don't ask. Ah, uh, type my Kovex. You're not Kovex. Just my old character in disguise. Oh, yeah, there you go. Kovex <laughs> is a so, The hat of disguise is just a bearskin pelt thrown over your back. All right, you should be able to move, my friend. Okay, I can. So how far... Can I move up to? Where's the square I have to stop at? Every five feet, stop. Oh, uh, like every, like we're playing like Minesweeper like or battle. Yeah, that square is safe. That square is safe. That square is safe. 
that square is safe. Are we allowed to mark these? Yeah, yeah, you guys can draw on the board wherever. Okay, what, what, what are the ones you've been to? He's gone three squares up in a diagonal line. He started here. And it's one, two, three. So, yep. here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those squares are safe. Or wait, the, didn't he start? No, he didn't start on a quick scan. He that started, this was the square he started in. Okay. Those squares are all okay. safe. Five. That's one move action. So you have one more. All right. Meow. Yeah, my cat's meowing from at my door. I yeah. have the door closed. Achilles will be doing that same thing in about five minutes when he realizes his human's doing something that he can't be doing. Okay, so I've seen 5, 10, 15, 20, I've seen 30 feet of a 50-foot move. Mm, go ahead and end up where you're going to end up. Okay. So 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. You got five more feet. So there, that square, that square will decide your fate. That square is also okay. safe. All Some of those squares felt a little questionable, but you're fine. You think it might have been just sand slipping under your boots. All right. So I have no more movement. Yep. And now it's okay. the, the thing that no one identified's turn. Creepy antlion mm. monster. And it's gonna, it can't use its breath weapon again, because you can only do that <clears> once <throat> per hour. This Paizo's not nice. I guess I'm just gonna uh, bite. Merciful Paizo. Merciful oh. Paizo. Okay, so when a druid is wild shape, the armor is not on you, right? It melds in like it did before. Yeah, okay. uh, I fixed ammo class for my form. and My form has an AC of 22. Gotcha. So I'm not feeling that scared of you guys. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling pretty all right. Also, I'm just a bug, and I'm not smart enough to have feelings anyway. So this thing's just going to reach its mandibles forward, and it's going to try to just tear into Tugar's bare self. The mandibles go. At 25. least I hope. Yeah, the tears. Right. I hope I weirded it out by turning from snake into bear. <laughs> <laughs> Second attack, 14 to hit? Nope. And the next one is a d20 minus 2. Almost certain to miss. A 9 misses. Yes! Oh. That's critical for you. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so... So it's a hit, a miss, and a failure. That seems good. That's... It's a d6 plus 4 plus a d6 of acid. That, that should come out right. So 11 points of damage, all told. And then for the fumble, the third attack... Mm, I, I can't make it fall in quicksand. It has a burrow speed. It could just get right out. Pretend you have the attack of opportunity reaction. I'll say that. As it goes forward for its final bite, it overcorrects a little and like it exposes its undercarapace like at you. Yeah, pretty much. Free attack. Come on. Ha! That should hit. That is... That does a hit, yeah. Nice. All right. Let's see. My bite does... Got already... It did good damage. All right. 2d8 plus 5. 12 plus damage. damage. Duly noted. You bite into this thing. It clicks and squeals a little. And now it's your turn, Tugar. Well, we just bit each other. Just took down my temporary hit points once again. Which I'm fine with. Let's let's try hitting that thing some okay. more. Understood. A twenty Buddy. hits. All right. X fifteen. Understood. All right. Let's see if we can hit with the second attack. Yeah. Get? A twenty does still hit. And twelve. Well. I, uh, uh, I need you to flavor that kill. Nice. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, nice. The, the bear keeps biting and biting until the uh, carapace cracks, and then he just starts pretty much digging into the soft buck flesh beneath the carapace, and it's like 
It's, it's like disgusting buck juices spraying everywhere as he digs in and the disgusting cracking sounds. Ugh, I'm almost tempted to make you take acid damage over that, but duly noted, the beast is dead. We're going to stay on initiative until everybody gets out of the quicksand. Tugar has because one more action. Because you wrong. You can. Kovacs is waist deep. The mysterious elf man has disappeared. Um, I guess... Mm-hmm. I'm wondering. I don't have that many morphers left. I used three so far. One on the on the hyena uh, encounter and two it's now. Mm-hmm. So I have one more use of it. I just don't know if we will be taking breaks. Uh, how late is it in the day? Oh, it's it's pretty early on. A couple hours have passed. You guys spent three days on Camelback and a day uh, you rested after the hyena fight. So four days have passed. Mm. All right. Uh, wondering. Uh, is, is there maybe like um, some kind of help action that I can do to help like our dwarven friend to get out of the quicksand. Maybe when I throw him like some rope so you he could. can hold on to it and I pull uh help him pull out. Yeah, you could do that. You and could I also certainly as a bear out. you could grab him physically and pull him out as well. He's waist deep right now. Yeah I'm just wondering if I can do that w- uh, without stepping into the quicksand. That would be the that's thing, yeah. That's that's the question. Can I get close to him without stepping into the quicksand? Well, you think maybe if you looked before you started running in a diagonal line, you might be able to determine where the quicksand is, especially you with your knowledge of nature. Oh, that's the most mm. meta thing I've ever said. <laughs> in a game where there's no knowledge. Well, there's knowledge, but there's no knowledge. <laughs> well, there's knowledge. Uh, there's nature as a general check. Mm. So I guess I can do that. Mm-hmm. Nature or survival, I guess. Yeah, both are <laughs> great. I, I mean, there's the same role for me, so it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Let's do a check. Yep, yep. Come on, don't roll terrible. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. It <laughs> is not. Awful terrible. 25. Uh... This, depending on the DC, that might crit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, actually, that might hold up. The the quicksand does have a... So it adds 11, and yeah, I I think that actually is a critical success. I think, is it? Well, regardless, I'm going to say that the, like, this line here is safe. All right. You can move through those three squares. As you're thinking that, Kovacs goes back down to head deep as the sand pulls him under on its turn in the initiative. Kovacs, what you doing? Well, uh, I'm going to keep... I'd get, I'd was just, I'm just moving there so he can grab onto me or something yeah. and try to get out. The yeah, thing is, you can't move yet because recalling knowledge takes one action. It's not a free action oh, like it okay. used to be. Oh, good. All right. That's a 24 <laughs> to pull myself out. Back to waist deep you go. And... Uh, 25? You did it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enjoy. You go again. Yeah, I, I pull myself out, and Kovacs, like, lets out a roar as he does it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. It's been a rough go of things for you. And the, yeah, he turns around and spits in the quicksand. All right. The spit sinks down. <laughs> so that's, um, you got one more action left. You see I mean, Chewie's taken off in the direction of where that elf probably is, as, well, as Chugar is no looking idea. at you. Kovacs hasn't seen the elf. Oh, yeah, nope. that's right. Yeah, you haven't. Well, Chewie's running at something pretty frantic. Um, okay. Well, I'm, I guess I'm following Chewie. Sure. Uh, I got that 30-foot move speed from being a barbarian. You do. A barbarian. Okay, sure. Do you want me to do this five feet at a time? Uh, just move to the end. Those those squares are safe. Those squares have been fought in. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is it... I can probably tell you that that's a free action. Yeah, yeah. Talking is still free action. Okay, and that was two actions, so... Yep. 
that square is safe. You move over the thing's body, it crunches. It kind of, like, its blood tingles a little. It's not concentrated enough in its blood to burn you, but there's a little, kind of like licking a 9-volt. It's that kind of, I, I hope I'm not the only person who's ever done that <laughs> as I say that on stream. That's how you I, see if the battery still has power. Yeah. I'm not weird. I've never done that it's in my funny life. that it tingles on your tongue is really a funny sensation. Yeah, yeah, it is. And that's kind of what it feels like on your feet. Yeah. And that's how you know when you put it back in your active pickups in your guitar if it's going to be, if it's going to function. Also, Literally, the batteries yeah. sound a little better in the EMGs when the battery's almost dead. But we're not here to talk about metal. What you got, Justin? <laughs> this, is a, this has been educational. Okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. You're not uh, dying. You're suffocating. Not yet. What was my you? I rolled in that one. Did I go under the you're, sand? Yeah, or? you're under the sand. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, I I'm gonna keep rolling to try and get out, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm blaming the dice for this. It's, it's like, a pretty high DC for you though, because you had yeah, four. Yeah. And you got to hit an 18. So for the Dexy boys, it's yeah no, you got to get at least a 14. Nope. Okay. That's one round of air gone. Keep going. Two rounds of air oh going. Oh, come on. Come on. No, oh. Oh, God. 17's <laughs> happened a lot in yeah. this encounter. You struggle. I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. Three rounds of your 14 yeah. are gone. Chewy. He's I'm not coming back up. <laughs> so okay. I'm so I'm, good. It's okay. I want to get to him, so I want to move um, to here. Okay. Is that square safe? It is. Should we do not die for, for me? Okay. Because <laughs> we can't save us both. <laughs> that um, square, on the other hand, make, uh, a, make a reflex save. Reflex. It's not normally a reflex save. That's what I'm going to call it. I am a generous god. That reflex save is not enough. You see that square has quicksand in it as you're running to help this stranger, and you don't notice it. Well, rather, that reflex save was really bad for you. You notice it just in time to, like, you lean forward to try to stop, and your arms windmill way too hard, and you just kind of face plant. Mechanically, you're waist deep, but you just <laughs> quicksand. <laughs> Two more actions. Oh, I want to get a stand up. Okay, sure. What do I need to roll for that? That would be an athletics check. And do Nathan 18 or higher too. Which is also not that easy for you. Hey man, he was killing it last time. Yeah. Not really this time. He can fumble. In general, kind of in of fumble DC um, is 8. You've got one more action. Um... Okay, um... If the, fumble DC is eight, if the fumble DC is 8, it might be better not to try until I can help you. Oh. <laughs> that hurts. Just, saying. just sit there and do nothing. We'll come get you, Chewie. Sit there and try. You can try it if you want, but... I'm going to wait for help. That'd be the best. <laughs> Understood. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to drown and wait. Actually, That's what fun. I want to do is the Ankrav... Oh, I said what it was. It's like an ankeg, but bigger, but no one knows that because you didn't make the checks. It's gonna. What is your class DC, Robin? Uh, my class DC, let me check. It's 16. Alright, so I add an 8 on this roll. It's gonna try to stabilize. Why not? Because I need to learn the dying mechanics because they're kind of weird. It stabilizes. Which means it's at dying one, and then it moves from zero hit points to one hit point, if I remember correctly. I think I'm screwing that up, though. Uh, I, while I'm looking it up, Tugar, you're on. Well, uh, I don't really have the meta knowledge to know that the thing is maybe waking up. You can make a perception check. Uh, okay. I mean, if they're like obvious signs. Yeah, like it would be like stirring. Twitching again or something. Yeah. All right. Let's give us a perception check. Roll 1d20 plus, I think, 6. I'm not mistaken. There we go. 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Who was perception of the chat again? Oh, by the way, we should, in general should remember that we have hero points. Yeah, that will cheat that death. Can be useful. One is cheat death, two is re-roll, three is act out of turn. I've been screwing that up on stream a lot. And helping me with rules and junk does get you an extra hero point, because you boys can't exactly show up at the house and bring me food. <laughs> not the German, not the one. Well, the one from Chicago is not that far off. Oh, I order you a pizza and I get to live? That's... <laughs> That's useful. I am Good very try. brightable. I actually, uh, I had Thai food for the first time a couple days ago, and it was... Well, not the first time. I had Thai food for the second time a couple days ago, and it was... I'm very bribable in drunken noodles, it turns out. Also, Tugar is aware that this thing is starting to twitch, and it looks like it might get back up. Well, uh, I guess it's time to chew it some more. <laughs> Um, eat it before it can eat you. That's, yeah. that's the way to do it. Uh, uh, what What does the book say about hitting something that's laying on the ground, twitching, and barely alive yet? No. Ready to hit its AC again? As I look up unconscious, it says that I might allow you to climb atop the corpse or unconscious body of a larger creature in some situations. So that's a thing. Um... I guess that's most was the uh, bear dwarf was doing earlier. Yeah. He moved over it. <laughs> what am I? Mm. Oh. Dying I is. I have no idea how coup de gras work because that that's what we're at now. Let's see. The thing is unconscious. It can't act. It has the blinded, deafened, and flat-footed conditions, and it takes a minus four conditional penalty to AC. So it looks like you still have to hit it. It's just AC is minus four, and if it takes damage, oh, its right. dying condition improves. If you crit it, it improves by two. It, it sounds so weird that its dying condition improves, which is means that it's getting worse. I guess I should say increases. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it improves from your point of view. <laughs> yeah, it's true. All right, let's see if we can hit it. Oh yeah. That is a critical uh, hit. Yeah, I that's almost a critical hit at its standing. <laughs> All right, so that's. That Some damage, amount of damage that, that moves damage. it from 13 damage, puts it from 1 hit point to 0 hit points. Also, doesn't that make a uh, sink harder for it? Because it, I critted it? It does, yeah. It goes from, instead of going to dying 2 from taking damage, it goes to dying 3. It needs to get to dying 4 to kill it, though. So really, you just have to hit it one more time. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Also, let's try that, that, that again. Yeah, seems good. All right, that's five. Nope. That is almost a fumble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't... Yeah. I don't dare try that again. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. It twitches uh, back a little and your bare face just kind of hits the sand and skids. I mean, since I'm finishing this thing off, I guess... Uh, well, I have a good idea. I would lose, use my last action to scout ahead for our dwarf in front to see if there's quicksand ahead of him. That's smart, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that way I can still be helpful. Yeah, that's pretty helpful. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see here. Oof. Okay, so what you notice... Actually, I'm gonna draw it really quickly. By drawing a shape, because that's how much I want. I want a lot. It'll be fun. This is quicksand. All of that. Oh. <laughs> well, at least we know how far you can go uh, before you step into it. Yeah. Mm. I, suggest, I suggest you running up to there and then trying the rope idea. I expect a lot from Throw the them boys. Some, <laughs> throw them, them some rope and have them... Guys. Uh, uh, Try to pull themselves out. Kovacs, what's Guys, up? Guys, it's okay. I had a great idea for a new character. 
<laughs> That's what I like to hear. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you roll up more races, classes, and whatever. This oh, is, yeah. I, if I stand right here, I think I can pull them up. Also, sorry about yeah. the chewing noises. Uh, I'm you're fine. To extra toasty Cheez Its. Oh. Sponsor uh, us, Cheez Its. Sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> insanely good. Um, well, you anyway. know, the best thing to wash down some Cheez Its is a nice cherry Coke that I'm pulling out of my bag. <laughs> right. Nope. Nope. God, nope. Lost, losing the sponsorship. There no! <laughs> well, I'll have you know, I'm actually drinking out of a Camelback water bottle at the moment. <laughs> 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 promoting Good. everybody Good. but Paizo. No, we're promoting Paizo by killing you guys with quicksand. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much fun they're having dying. Truth be told, I'm actually super jealous of you guys because you get to play so many characters in the playtest. Me? I've got one. Yeah, I'm, I've got a ranger. Look at me go. Kovacs is sprinting over to here, and sure. I'm going to use the aid action on Chewie. Alrighty. Um, so that's two of my actions to get that far. Uh, and then, so the aid action, it's typically a DC uh, 15, but it's 20 if you decide it. So 20 if, you de if I decide it? Yeah, in the okay. DM. Okay. Also, oh. wh uh, whatever the skill check or whatever the skill check is is uh, decided by you. For you, it's probably a fifteen because athletics is your jam as a barbarian. Yeah. All right. I mean. Okay. Uh, I gotta roll this and go close my door. Uh, fourteen. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> well, the question is: Is it like is uh, tr uh, trying to help action more useful in that situation than straight up? Seeing if you can just pull him out. I might have just grabbed That's... him by the ears and pulled him up. Yeah. Yeah, because I, because I think help actually just gives him a bonus. I assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so too. Bonus doesn't help that much if his uh, roll is just a plus two in general. Fair. If you if you if you add, add like another plus two, that pretty much puts him in the position of the elf. Yeah. That one is Dwarven. Where's like, Doran is? <laughs> No. So <laughs> I assume Chewie doesn't speak Dwarven. No. So as as Kovacs tries to coach you, about half of it comes out in Dwarven, the other half is intelligible growls and snarls. He's a little upset. <laughs> Zindarin, it's getting a little hard to breathe. Actually, it's been hard to breathe for about six seconds. It's yeah, getting a little dark, um, a little hazy, little spots in front of your eyes. Okay, so before, like, how how long can I before I die? I, I just I need to know. Your con is fourteen. Yeah. So you've used one round, so three, six, nine. So you've got like four point two rounds, four and two thirds of a round. Yeah. Okay. Um. Dear God. Dear God. Let's get some. Oh. oh my no. Man, okay. that's rough for the rogue. I feel bad. Okay. Wait, wait. Fixing. Jesus. You need um, to roll a 14, not 14 I, total. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, wait. So my question, because I, I, I have to be fair. Um, me fumbling before was going under from that one, wasn't yeah, it? Correct. Okay. Okay. So you would have I gone just... from waist high to head high, but it said you went waist high to under. Yeah. Okay. Now I just need to not roll any more of those, and I can pray. You've got like a thirty percent chance. That's not how you do it, though. Natural two does not help you. That actually is, is a fumble. fumble. There is a fumble. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, you swallow sand. You do swallow some sand. Yeah. So, so it's... tell me about that uh, new character you're thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> he is just great. Can you have him He's ready so... right now? <laughs> I can, I well, can do that. Like, I'll be back in an hour. It'll be. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. He has a swimming proficiency. Yeah, yeah he's well, actually. This is, um... this is actually great because we're going to be able to see how fast you can make a third level character. Exactly. Hey, you know, Wait, you, you guys are level four. You know that, right? Four, yeah, level four. four. Yeah. But I mean, um, uh, I'm. I'm uh, Kovacs! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You need to level up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Oh god. I might man if you More? die, what what's the encounter level of it? That that still fails, man. What's I'm, a gnoll not... look like? Let me look at this beast chair. I might just let you play a gnoll. <laughs> Please just kill me. Just like because I don't want to play this guy anymore, okay? He sucks. He deserves it. He deserves his fate. His fate is no, bad. I've I've had this character for 30 minutes and he has done nothing but fail me, okay? Yeah. Please. Sacrifice. Uh, I might give you a gnoll sergeant. That's that's creature level four. 
<laughs> no class it's, levels, it's, but bark orders. I'll work uh, with it. Yeah, this is, it's kind of hilarious this is, because because the rogue is like the master of skill checks. Not I'm here. Gonna, <laughs> you're I mean, no. right now. You, you found the one thing. If this was a trap or something, I'm I'm so it ready. It is a trap. It totally is a trap. Yeah, quicksand is a trap. Mean, can I can I use thieves tools on quicksand? <laughs> <laughs> Just quickly Make disable it. Oh All right, Chewie. At the top okay. of your turn, you go to head deep. Please do not die for this character. I'm not that attached to him. I want <laughs> to. Life. I want Please. to move over here. Right. beside the, the dwarf. To do so, make an athletics check. Well, first you have to make yeah, it. I thought move. when you said move, I thought you meant like swim in the quicksand. But first you have to get up to waist high and then up again. So we need two successes. I believe in you. That's, uh, no. that's not uh, how you do that. That's a fumble. You go under, Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> you should have waited. Oh, okay. Quicksand is harder than the Ancro. <gasps> yep. What Wait. Is well, you did fight it. Fight boss. Could I use Maid's hand to help me get out? I don't. I don't think so. Five pounds of pressure. <laughs> nah, man. You I don't mean, have line of effect to anybody much. now, you, anyway, because it's quicksand. Swim, bro. You got to do this. You did it so well last time. You were. I know. You were amazing. I, A plus. I need you to live for my conscience, man. Oh, you I can't both it. play Knowles for the rest of the AP. Come oh. on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, guys. How many rounds does the elf have? He I'm, has. I'm, I'm uh, he's used seven. Because he Does fumbled that one. Work? Boom! <laughs> Chewie emerges from the quicksand, shakes it out of his ears, I'm does this the... little. How much con does the rogue have? 14. I had 14. That's a uh, lot for a race with a con egg. Yeah, so... but I've, I've fumbled twice, man. I, mm -hmm. I'm not. That's fair. Yeah. I'm not doing well. Like, mm -hmm. if, I, if I fuck up this round, I think I'm done. Maybe. I would just go ahead and start on the new character. I'm, I, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that, that's your time in between rounds. Chewie, you got one more action. <laughs> okay, I want to move beside the dwarf. Okay. You gotta you gotta get out of the sand first. You gotta have one more success to get to waist high. Oh, one more. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm wait, on. wait. Here, maybe... Okay. What's your plan? Um, I was thinking maybe take a deep breath just in case next time you, like, go under and wait for me to go help the elf up and then I'll come back exist. and help you. You don't know I, I exist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you you never I, saw me, bro. Can I, talk, okay, talk, wait, wait, wait. wait. Can I see him, the sand moving around there or can I smell him? You probably don't have scent. You, I, the, I imagine the quicksand blocks line of effect. I am submerged. He does have sand because there's he's a, a barrier. Yeah, right. What I'm I, saying is like he doesn't have sand. Oh, yeah, in, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Line of effect is. Oh, I say there's an elf over there. Now you yeah. know. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Sam is also very correct. Holding your breath or taking a deep breath would. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it does, but the breathe deep action is really good right now. It would like double, double his yeah his rounds that he gets. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. You would buy us a lot of time by just yeah. and I have taking a deep four, breath. I have a 14 in my con, so that would be double And you that. are a very conny wizard. Jesus. <laughs> so that last action is just that deep breath? Wait. Hang on. Con. That was... So I wrong stat. It's a 10, so I was looking at the one beside at, at Dex there. I looked down and I thought that was a C. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> Yeah, it's a 10, so yeah. I'm not a Connie wizard. No, you're not. You're an average wizard. Which is a yeah. lot more than the average wizard in Pathfinder 1st Edition. I feel like there were a lot of 7 cons that just didn't care if they died. Brave, but foolish. So I take the Brave Deep accent in yes, my sir. turn. And Chewie just... <gasps> as he starts sinking back down again. Tugar, this is a mess. Well, he's not <laughs> sinking down yet. Yeah, fair. He will be soon. <laughs> His head's up. That's that's what's important. Yeah. Don't you underestimate his potential to roll a, a, a 18 to G. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> fair. <laughs> Chewie's been killing it. A plus. I mean, he has like you. a 20% chance or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, I think it's lower. Uh, I'm not sure. Wait. Oh, maybe it is 20%. He needs an 18 and he rolls plus 2, right? Yeah. So 16, 17, he's got a 20% chance, and he's been yeah, killing so it. Right. 
doing way better than the Rogue. <laughs> yeah. And the Barbarian for quite a while. <laughs> and, um, and the I'm, Rogue has a 30% chance. I don't answer to Rogue anymore. I'm preparing my bard. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not sure if the bard would be doing better in this situation. Right a very now, strength-based right? bard. <laughs> He's a muscle bard. Yeah. You found a way to make the scald. Oh, uh, is it <laughs> scald's my turn? Yep, you're up, man. Totally. I'm bringing right. it back. Well, since I know that I can run all the way up to here, I guess that's what I will do first, because it's exactly six squares. Okay, sure. And... Well, yeah, I I will move back into my human form. Alrighty. Grab, grab a rope from my backpack, swish it around a bit, and try to toss it all the way to where the elf disappeared under the uh, under the sand. Like, okay. Throw a rope like that. So right. if he gets out, I don't know. Maybe he could, can bite into it. You want to set? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, oh, give me, can, make it, make a ranged attack. <laughs> ranged attack. All yeah. right. I guess this... that's based on my. On your deck. Just... Yeah. I'm so uh... glad Rathenos didn't have to die like this. this yeah. Is my, because I actually like him. <laughs> oh. It's that uh, <laughs> the question is, uh. Am I trained? Yeah, yeah, you're trained. Everyone knows how to use rope. You're adventurers. Yeah, just just checking. That's that's fair. Yeah, that's, no, that's I mean, the difference of plus two. You're definitely not like master with ropes. That's a weird class. Will that exist? <laughs> Maybe. I'll brew it. I'd be a cool rogue subclass. Yep. Yeah. Improvised weapon rope master. Master. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. uh, oh, you know, you could just use a whip. As Treat a as whip. Be Indi yes. Didn't Indiana Jones literally get out of quicksand with a whip at some point? Oh, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I was killed. Uh, that's who I, I'm I making. I the rope so well it goes into the sand in his mouth. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. About that moment, he accidentally opens his mouth and gets sand in. Something rope-ish goes like into your teeth and you instinctively bite down on it and just hope that this rope will pull you out. Kovacs, yeah. help the little man. Help the little guy. He's in trouble. Help the goblin? Yeah. <laughs> he says so questioningly. <laughs> Help the goblin? They um, are people? It's <laughs> people. They didn't used to be. Goblin <laughs> people now. We have rights. Tovex <laughs> gets one hero point for the name change I'm just now seeing. In <laughs> roll 20. <laughs> Kovex the Alpha, two guards, not the Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> Flawless. I, I, I guess I'm just trying to aid the little man then. Alright, fair enough. It was pointed out while you were AFK that it might be better to just reach out and grab him. Because um, statistically, you, I think you only give him a plus two on his check when yeah. you use the help action. In that case, he would be in the same situation that the rogue is in. With the rogue is if you pulled the safety. <laughs> no yeah. one, no one can be in this situation. Oh, so I can just, I can just pick him up instead of helping him out. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I think I'm going to call it an athletics check still, because yeah. that's what grappling is. But yeah, you, but you nailed it. Your chance, yeah, so <laughs> exactly. That's oh. pretty much what I was suggesting. Because your chance to just pull him out is way higher than him making the check when you uh, ate him. For sure. Okay, so yeah, Kovex okay. reaches down, grabs Chewie by the ears, I guess, because he's only head deep as he's... <gasps> and then he gets grabbed and just yanked up yeah. to about waist high. That's one action. Thank you, thank um, you, thank you. <laughs> he says, uh, get out of there. Uh, I switch into... Wait, give me a second to get my Scottish accent ready. I switch into... <laughs> <laughs> he says, get out of there. There we go. Nice. That was a little bit better. Flawless. <laughs> 26. He grabs him by, he like grips his ears and pulls him out and just throws him over his shoulder. Yeah, right, sure. I, I was going to ask you which adjacent square you wanted. That flavor text is enough for me. <laughs> just kind of burp <laughs> over top of you. He flips a little. I'm tempted to ask for a reflex save from Chewy, but he's had a bad enough day. <laughs> Covered in sand and grossness, he lands right there. Kovacs has one more action. Thank you, Kovacs. Kovacs just grunts. 
<laughs> and then uh, starts running over. Sure. Well, that's it. Alrighty. Zendarin. I'm going to say that rope gives you a plus two on your turn. A plus two item bonus on the athletics check. To try to swim out. Well, according to the aid action, if you critically su- succeed, it's a plus four. That's fair. Okay, plus four it is then. You did natural 20. Oh, my God. So you're adding Wait. six. No, wait, you're oh, adding I ten. Need... You're adding ten. I'm adding ten? Wait, yeah, because uh... you were adding four. Oh, no, you're adding eight. I'm so no, good I'm at math. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, why I'm playing yeah. second edition now. The numbers okay. are smaller. Oh, it's dice-based. All I need to roll is a ten. 50-50. 50-50 chance. Come on. Uh... <laughs> Just kill me. Despite the rope. <laughs> oh, that hurts. That hurts. It's tempting. So I could. So you're at. That's your eighth round. You're over the halfway point. I gotta do this eight more times, bro. Yeah, you got. You got to do it one more time. Tugar can get you out the rest of the way. I just imagine like. His head like gets up out of the sand. He's like, just end me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, this character has started off being pathetic. I, yes. I, I don't, I don't really you're, you're want. You're just anymore. saving your good rolls for later when you're just arming traps and stuff like that. I yeah. Think, I don't think he has good rolls because they have. I haven't seen them. Have you seen them? I've not seen them. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> They're, coming your way, I They're waiting for later. Uh, do I still have the plus eight? Yeah, or... yeah, you have it forever, yeah. unless you fumble. Don't oh fumble. my god! You'd have to natural one to fumble at this point, though, because you're adding more I than still... the fumble DC. <laughs> Man! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm asking you, man. It's tempting. It's tempting. I can do something else, man. I can, I can come back with a suspiciously similar looking, differently named bro. I still think that. <laughs> he had a twin brother. Yeah, yeah. A twin brother. <laughs> My twin brother. I was looking for him and decides to join the party. Exactly. One more check. He will say. He's the lucky one of the two brothers. Yeah. He's the one that took bludgeoner at first level, so he's strength based, not dex based, so he can do this. <laughs> Christ, man. Uh, you just gotta roll ten. Ten or better. It's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh-huh. Alright, Chewie. At least he didn't fail. He did not. I didn't get a drink of water. Hang on. <laughs> he just he just got up why? I don't know why yeah. Aaron Jesus does not smile on you it's cause you didn't watch the whole session uh, why? Was, please sorry <laughs> I would but you're doing it to yourself you're at 10 of 14 you die you start something getting next round I don't have to do it oh my sit here. Chewie, what are you gonna do to help this man I okay. there's, there's a rope that you can help pulling. <laughs> can I help pull the rope? And... Yeah, you guys can all grab that rope if you wanted to, for sure. No. Okay. No, I want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I want to go over here. I don't want to. Help pull the rope. All right. Sure. Oh my God. You've used one action. Um, give me. I guess give me an athletic check. As if to aid another. The rope gives you makes the DC lower. I guess. Yeah. It's like <laughs> Chewy. I get <laughs> Chewy moves in the pull direction out. of the rope, gets both his hands on it, starts to pull. But in doing so, he doesn't oh. move the rope. Instead, he moves his legs forward and kind of just slides into the quicksand. <laughs> no, no, no. Waste deep. <laughs> well, wouldn't I still be hanging on to the rope? Yes, you still have the rope. <laughs> <laughs> but she just whoop. Is this uh, real? Is this happening? Right, <laughs> oh god. Way steep in that quicksand. I want to get out. Does the rope help me? It does, it does, it does. It's a plus. It was a critical success when it got thrown in. It's a plus four, eight, another. So you're adding it's six. Plus four. You're adding oh, six. six. Total oh, six. Oh, Need to get an 18. Man, this is where Doomsday is right now. They should have just called it quicksand <laughs> down. Oh. <laughs> oh no. And that's a fumble. That's ten lower. 
<laughs> in, so he tries to pull himself up, but in the process of doing so, he's continuing the swinging motion, is what it is. So actually, let's, uh, here's the square the rope isn't in, because you fumble. <laughs> and whoop okay. forward, <laughs> head oh, deep, God. two guard, this is a mess. This whole session is going to be just this quicksand <laughs> trap. <laughs> It's oh, cool that a bunch of people are missing because they're missing this. Uh, the cleric might have had this strength. It well. Yeah, this is gonna die. <laughs> can I do like an athletics check to pull him out? You can pull the rope with an athletics check, yeah. Or you can grab oh, Chewie. Save the freaking god! I mean, man. Chewie still has a lot of air. Yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm not one. making these rolls. <laughs> Save the goblin. So I will help our drowning elf first. Sure. Alrighty. Plus four bonus. Yeah. Uh, it's good. athletics. Oh, what was it? Yeah, athletics with a plus four from the critical aid and other. Alright. Can I just... Uh, I commit suicide under the sand, so like, stop helping. 26. <laughs> Almost a crit success. You move... What's your speed? Your speed's 30. Yeah. Half your speed this way with the rope. Can I select the rope? I can't. I can. One, two, I can. three. I can. One, two, oh, three. Oh, right. that was one action. All right, let's. Zendaran feels yeah. himself suddenly being pulled. Oh. <laughs> that probably looks hilarious because he's like still in the sand. I'm, like, I'm holding onto a rope by my teeth, being pulled to safety. Right. I didn't think I would get this oh, far. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh so Zendarin, as he's being pulled, his arms flail out. <laughs> and in the out flailing, he grabs Chewie's head deep. Grabs, it's like, not- it feels like a robe of some... You saw the goblin. You grab the robe that you assume is the goblin wizard as both of them are pulled from the quicksand, coughing and spitting and carrying on. Almost gotcha. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Double oh. whammy. Best it's like switching. All right, Ooh. Justin, what... The hell are you playing? <laughs> now that it's alive. <laughs> I'm, I'm alive. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, I think at this point he's probably throwing up sand. It's oh. not pretty. No, it's not. This is the most unelf like you've ever seen an elf as I'm barfing sand. Congratulations and, on um, beating that encounter, gentlemen. Initiative's off. Don't step in quicksand that again. You'll fit in better with us. <laughs> Because we are not the graceful type. Nope. <laughs> Zendarin is oh. pulled out, and as he makes it out, he sees that bear has a rope in its teeth, and it's been just kind of soldiering on, carrying the rope, and you, and Chewie, and there's a strange dwarf man who looks very bearish. It's it's weird. It, like, that guy hasn't bathed in ever. There's a lot of twigs coming out of his beard and his hair, and he looks a little feral. More feral than the goblin, who looks really smart and refined, and... Yes. And about as bad off as you. (laughs) Also, by now, pretty much everyone has sent everywhere. Yeah. Every every crevice. It's Star Wars Episode 2. Yep. I hate sand. (laughs) It's coarse, and it almost killed my rogue in 2018 when we played Doomsday (laughs) Dawn. I've I've never empathized with Anakin Skywalker before now, but yep, God, no, that's weird. Sad, man. Hayden Christensen empathy is the weirdest feeling. I don't like it. You did you die. Did. <laughs> <laughs> you made me feel some like I feel something other than rage towards the prequels right now. Like I get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh my God, I'm I'm just like I'm I'm. Pr- Praying, thanking Desna, and and also barfing, and probably <laughs> crying and and laughing, and it, this is this is a breakdown. I thought I was dead. Fair. Oh. Uh, oh. I mean, you were close. Thank you, thank you, kind bear. Oh. <laughs> thank you, kind bear. <laughs> oh. uh, the funny thing, last session, I imagined that the people who would show up would be the ones. Helping me survive that fight. Yep. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the cleric and the bard who didn't make it would just come destroy that thing. I, um... No, no treasure can be worth this, but since I've already almost died for it, if, um... I don't think I can do this on my own, would you all mind teaming up, so to speak? Yeah. I mean, at this yes. point... 
Puka probably de bears. <laughs> and it's an orc. It's worse than a bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he has nice tattoos. Especially two big bear paws on his chest because mm. bears are his favorite. Nice. They represent strength and orcs like strength. Me too. Are you from uh, the hold of Belkson? Or did I, maybe I pronounced that wrong. No, um, you said exactly right. You got it. Nice. I played a nature work from Belkson once. It was a lot of fun. Mm. Also, because the cleric of Saren Ray didn't make it. <clears throat> Justin, I'm what's your character's I'm, primary I'm weapon? I'm only a half orc, not, not a full orc. What's my. Uh, my your primary role? weapon? I have a rapier. By the powers vested in me by Paizo Productions, the plus one scimitar handed out is now a plus one rapier. Polymorphs yeah. a little, because the cleric didn't make it, and Zandaran awesome. deserves something. <laughs> yeah. oh I, hey, I feel almost like... Almost Want to have a magic weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever else happens, I survive the quicksand. I feel like I won, okay? Fair? Yeah, yeah. you're a quicksand survivor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, you got to get the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Pathfinder logo up top. I survived quicksand 2018. Yes. Right. Also, with the DC on it. DC 18. DC 18. 18. I survived hey, DC 18. Something about this quicksand, Paizo. <laughs> Say it right. Oh. <laughs> uh. Most uh, OP encounter yet. Yeah, yes. no, this whole the Ankrov wasn't that bad. The hyenas were all right, but they weren't that. I don't. I could have killed Chewie if I really wanted to. I think, but I, I wasn't smart enough. I'm a bunch of dogs. I wanted to attack the bear, so I couldn't do but, that. But Jesus, I did roll a couple of twenties already. twenties to save us. From I do know who siphoned your luck. That has to be me. I've rolled exceptionally well already. Mm-hmm. Yes, you I have. Like I, I had 18s, 19s, 220s. <laughs> Oh my god, I am I'm yeah. sick of having I I got needing to be saved when I was a level one sorcerer. But Jesus Christ, this quicksand. <laughs> level four rogue would help too. Oh. Alright. Yep. I I suggest we get out of here as soon as possible, but we will continuously roll perception checks so this doesn't tell, uh, happen again. Sure. Uh, yeah. Or better, I guess I keep rolling nature checks. Yeah, let me let me real quick actually get a perception check from everybody, real fast. I'm, I'm, I'm good at those. Gotta bait those natural ones and see if there's actually some quicksand that you're standing in that literally polymorphed. It's a mimic quicksand. Oh mimic dear. Quicksand. That sounds like a horrific combination. It does. Do not give anyone ideas. D d don't mimics have that sticky ability oh, they where do. you like, yeah. stick to them? Well, it's so so worse. it's like quicksand that you can't escape. It is. That's disgusting. It is. Yeah, that's super mean. Oh, that was close. That was so close. <laughs> that 11 was. Okay. Did I get everybody? I think I'm missing a two guard. Yeah, you're... I think... Wait. Uh, yeah... Uh, no. Uh, I rolled the 40 plus 6. Ah, the 20, gotcha. Okay, sure. Okay, so as you guys get your bearings, as you get the sand out of the crevices... Uh, bearings? Ha, oh, I did it again, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> yes! Yes, we did it! Night. You guys find the place where the, the creature had burst forth from. Now that everything's settled down, you can see the hand of something... You're not sure what, but it's definitely humanoid sticking out of the sand. It looks pretty beat up. Like, the muscle on the forearm has been pretty chewed on. The bone is exposed in a couple of places. A couple of finger bones are missing. It's obvious this thing was half-eaten. It's probably Ew. somebody's dead body. Well, let's check on it. You guys pull it out. Is it, is it an elf rogue? <laughs> that was actually my previous character from the last session that you all never saw because yeah, I didn't make it. Because he didn't make it. I was tempted if, if Josh was Josh was talking about not making it. And I guess this is a good time to note for the patrons that may be watching, we may be dropping a player because the schedule changed. If so, you patrons are among the first to be picked for that sixth man. Stay tuned. 
But you definitely, the body is very dead. It's it's an elf rogue. Yeah, sure. You definitely, he looks very roguish. Hey, call me. It's man or woman. Please. Oh, yeah, fair. I don't have any female patrons. So, do I? Yeah, no, I have zero female patrons. I had one female patron back in the day. Now I have absolutely none. Right? I'll let you off the hook this time. Thank you. Yeah. I gotta go back and check. Yeah, no, not a one. Is Colin convince your girlfriend to be a patron so you can say you have one? I mean, she makes way more money than I. She teaches at a private school. She makes lots of money. Oh, I get to pay less on rent, so I can sit around and play Pathfinder all day. It's pretty sweet. Anywho, the body has a backpack. As you pull it out, the body, the contents of the backpack, and as well the contents of the body, kind of dump out onto the sand. I was just thinking, I hate beast monsters because they don't have loot. But that's a good way to be in the loot. That is true. <laughs> Looks like a couple of vials of some kind of red liquid, a lot of silver just dumped out onto the sand, as well as. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to give it to you. We don't have to spend a bunch of time identifying. It's two minor healing potions, 300 silver, literally just dumped out on the sand, and a I set of it. a set of expert quality thieves tools. Ooh. Oh. Oh, what? I know someone who could use those. Yeah, yes. just met him. I could use them to best other. Yeah, Kovacs other is looking friends. through it, and he, he pulls out like the little toolbox. Tool. <laughs> he pulls out the little toolbox and he just throws it at the rogue, and then he he like gets the <laughs> he gets the little vials and he just gives them to the wizard. And uh, thank you, thank you. He he just starts playing with the silver. He likes how it's shiny. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I like dwarves. Said no elf ever. Well, Doppelganger! So, yeah, he doesn't care so much about the monetary value. He's just a dwarf, so he likes shiny things. That's fair. So, two yeah. potions of mana healing? You got it. Okay. 300 silver. 300 silver. And the expert quality thieves tools. And you guys have... Oh, about... Mm, where? How long did that happen? Do, do, do. I don't remember the time I said, so I gotta go back and check. And probably like an hour and change of travel through these sand flats before you would reach the next part of the world map. Mm. But you uh, just said it's morning, so we still have like a lot of time. Yeah, of yeah. The day. You guys have spent like a, a lot. maybe like twenty minutes of travel. That may be well, wrong from the last session. I take really bad this, notes. This is also kind of weird because it's like an encounter. But aside from me, no one lost HP because everyone was just drowning instead of taking damage. Accurate. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now I'm wondering, can I actually use my nature medicine on myself? Yeah, I don't see why not. You're a person. All right. Let's try that. I guess I'll wasn't... pop that feed open. See if I can manage. I don't think mm, that's yeah, that doesn't beat the DC. Sure I think you had to get a twenty, didn't you? Yeah, I think so too. That does fail. Yeah, DC twenty. But to heal a creature, use... you are a creature. Yeah, nice. But that doesn't that didn't work for now. So whatever. I guess I could in theory try it over and over again. You can only work. do it once per day. What I will say is, okay, the percentage of dice were kind. Tugar is, he's been lacerated pretty hard by this beast, but he's able to, the DC is down significantly, as per in nature medicine, natural medicine rather, it says, if you're in the wilderness, you might have easier access to fresh ingredients, up to and including the blood of this creature, which is, like I said, it's like, like licking a 9 volt. It's acidic enough that it will burn, but not acidic enough that it's going to hurt. Enough of it will cauterize your wounds. The check Ooh, succeeds. That's nice. Nice. So I think I regain one. One d eight plus D8. wisdom. Yep. I think my wisdom is forty. Just mm -hmm. oh, spellcaster attribute is not that important anymore. It's not. Um. Yep. That's fourteen. I'm more of the strength based. Uh, yeah. I really want to play a wild druid at some point. It looks like a lot of fun. It is really fun. Somebody GM the next part so I can play a wild druid. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 7 HP. 7 HP is returned. Alright. That brings me up to... Da, da, da. 
brings me up to 33. Nice. Fair enough. I'm only down 19 hit points. Oh my. All right. Let's move on. Okay. So you guys begin moving through the sand flats. It's... You guys have line of sight to that waterfall for pretty much the whole hour and change walk, and it's rather beautiful. Maybe not so much for, like, Zendaran and Chewie, who've seen their lives flash before their eyes. A little bit of, like, <laughs> checking very carefully. Oh, well, you don't them. know. Maybe they appreciate the uh, beauty of nature even more now. Yeah. <laughs> now that they almost like, lost oh, their lives. Life is so great. Uh, I love living. And I have, true. It's so beautiful <laughs> over there. I, I never I have, spent time watching that. I have, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sand PTSD. Yeah, that, that's fair. Yeah, that would definitely do it. You definitely almost drowned in quicksand. That sounds like a horrible way to go. But you guys Every figure, time. you guys find pretty quickly that as you begin traveling, you've moved past the area where the quicksand is, and it becomes super easy to travel. Does anyone have any exploration tactics they'd like to use other than wandering? Uh, no, I think I think we're fine. No. Yeah. Okay. I think we. I think. Uh, or maybe do we want to start sneaking? I think we are starting to get close. Well, remember we're going through the. Uh, we're going through the back of the. Uh, yeah, but uh, because of the um, hyenas earlier, we know that there uh, might be gnolls in uh, this area. That's oh, accurate. Yeah. yeah. And so too with Zendarin. That's what Zendarin was running from. There's a couple of null camps up ahead. So, yeah, we can sneak. Yeah, then. I guess we'll sneak. Alright, sure. Everybody makes stealth checks. I don't think that's a fatiguing action. Yeah, no, That's the thing I'm actually good at. Alright, yeah. good. That's good. actually something that I'm not that good at, because I'm more of the strong guy than the nimble guy. And Chewie also is pretty bad. <laughs> Still... <laughs> Let me roll this. Oh, that, uh, that's now uh, under thievery, right? Nope, that's what? stealth is its nope. own check. What? Ah! Oh, right. Justin, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the barbarian is stealthier wow. than you. <laughs> I told you to kill him. I should have killed him. You aren't wrong. I should have killed him. I have regrets. <laughs> All right. Guys, keep your fingers crossed for me because now I'm the worst at doing this check. I'll target you. Uh, it's going to be hard to do worse than that. Uh... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you did beat out the bear or the the orc and the goblin as you guys begin sneaking through, but they they aren't quiet. A couple hours pass, which is surprising because I'm not wearing armor and anything. It is weird. Um, the, it's not the armor that's noisy. This time it's you. Alrighty, let's pop yeah. you boys over here to the next map. It's just a bad at stealth. Yeah, that's fair. Let me. I gotta put. I gotta put Justin on board. <laughs> I might be able to lawyer my way and sing. I'm like, oh, maybe I can do this with some Marvel instead of self. <laughs> so controlled. Why can't I set the control by? That is controlled by just. Oh. All right. So you guys, uh, go ahead and give me a quick perception check if you would. All right. I mean, that's a bit of a stealth check. I guess we are not. That likely to evade detection. Oh God! Oh my God! Did someone okay, natural no. one? Was it Justin? Wait, no, oh, no. okay, never mind. Oh, no, 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 finally, I'm, not, I'm not just bad. No, 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 hold also, on. You finally like, got a one, I and it was on something that did really. That's not gonna kill you. That's perfectly fine. I would, <laughs> I'd trade you three of my ones for that natural one. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I can't. Alrighty. Everybody should have. I think I gotta get Justin still. So. Yeah, dear. Uh, I, oh. think I'm, I think I'm surprised. Yeah, something's gonna happen. A thing is gonna happen. Everybody got light of sight. Got Everybody it. control their guys. Yep. Um, uh, I got a 21, and uh, Chewie has a 22. Okay. I see a 21, yeah. I see a, a, a 12, Ugh, a natural one, and a 22. Okay, so you guys. A couple hours pass, you're trying to be really quiet, and you come upon a crystal, that river you've been seeing in that waterfall. This crystal clear river rushes down the gentle slope. That's a, that doesn't make sense. Rushes down the gentle slope. 
of the land and on the far side of the river these really gross ratty tents that are they just kind of look like leather supported by sticks basically have been constructed and there's a couple of really really crappy fishing rods propped up alongside of the river as well as like the logs and ashes of a bonfire zandaran knows that this is a knoll camp tugar knows because tugar as he's looking around, he you guys can see a couple of gnolls begin to like move in the direction of uh let's put them like here and here. They haven't seen you yet because they're not looking, they're kinda just bickering amongst themselves. Does anyone speak Knoll? Chewie speaks Knoll. Yes. Zendarin, do you understand Knoll? I do not. You do not. All right. So Chewie definitely hears just you, the most of you just hear barking and what comes out of Kovacs and Tugar when they're mad at each other. But Chewie, Chewie understands it as like just, mm, so bored, nothing to eat, nothing to kill. They're too busy looking at each other. They haven't seen you yet because of the natural one. Everybody gets one action before they're oh. going to be looking your direction. One thing when Kovac sees like the tents and stuff, he says. Boy, reminds me of home. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. Hmm. Um, well, well, I'm intense. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess. Did, what did you say? Everyone. Well, he was, I mean, I'm last, last because uh, perception is. Oh wait, is that is that our initiative? It could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. That seems good. That seems okay, real great. So I'm, so I'm last in, uh, two guards got a seven. Kovex, Dragon Claw, Chewy with a twenty-two. Strictly better than that eight. That's much better. Twelve from from Kovex. One better than last time. Zendarin, Elf Boy with a twenty-one. Chewy, you are first. These guys haven't seen okay. you yet. Not so not three actions, just one. Then they're gonna try to okay. see you. All right, I'm going to stealth. Sure. Okay, so you're going to need something to hide behind to block line of sight. Because you can't, nobody has hide in plain sight right now. Well, Unless you can cast invisibility. Small, like everyone else is bigger. <laughs> you could step behind somebody and do it. I'd let you do that. Yeah, I want to step behind somebody. Or like this rock here. That would block line of sight. But wouldn't he need to okay. move then? And he only has one action. Yeah, sneaking is... You can sneak as part of an action and you move up to half your speed. But, oh, okay. But they'll see you anytime you break uh, cover. I okay, so I you. can get to that rock. You could, but you couldn't do it and sneak. Well, hold up. Oh. You gotta yeah, move I half your speed. It's, it's 30 feet away. You could... Could he, couldn't he? he move to here? Into that? You could do that. Also, they're not looking what yet. What is so that? That's a tree. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I want to might... sneak to the tree. Okay, make that stealth check. I put in my pluses. And, uh, whoa. Duly noted, you've rolled an 11. You move 15 yep. feet. Well, your speed's 25. So you you move 10 feet. You can move two squares. So really, the only cover that exists is Chugar or Zendara in your call. There is no cover. There's nothing blocking line of sight between where the gnolls are and where you are. They will see. Oh, so here. Okay, is line of cover. Yeah, yep. okay. Assuming Zendarin doesn't do anything with his one action right now. He's like, be useful okay. for one self. Um, I'm very sorry, Chewie. But I'm, I'm going to go hide behind the tree. Okay. <laughs> can I, I, can I get on his back? You cannot. You used your one action. I just... If you took Rough Rider, you could use him as a mount with no penalty. Oh. I should have done that. Go, Elf Mount. Yeah. Oh, you could have rode with Kovacs. The one. That would have been awesome. Oh my I god. I didn't think of that. Or Tugar, you know, the guy who will turn into a quadruped. Yeah, yeah. man, you should ride the Alpha instead. All right, Zendarin, what you got? Where's that self check? Um, I'm about to roll it. I'm, I'm just. In disbelief that there was a time when Rough Rider would have been rough. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, I'm rolling initiative. <laughs> oh my god! 
Exactly. Oh my okay. god. I, I'll target you. I'll target you. I will do that for you. Oh they actually go before Kovex. They go on initiative count 19. <laughs> so there you go. There's that. Thanks. Thanks. I can't do this anymore, man. Man, you are bad at Pathfinder <laughs> today. I'll, Jesus. I'll try it. Oh no, you are. Okay, so as this is going on. <laughs> Zendarin's eyes get really wide as Chewie moves behind him, and in this strange, otherworldly voice with a vague Chicagoan accent, I can't believe Rough Rider was actually relevant. Rough Rider actually is in the min-maxing video that comes out tomorrow. I'll have you know, but just, I can't believe Rough Rider was actually relevant, he says. Could it have saved me? Out loud. <laughs> the gnolls turn. They draw weapons. It's their turn. The gnolls are actually also joined by something everyone watching on Twitch and watching on YouTube can see. Out from one of the tents, believe it or not, comes this thing. Ah, I'm pressing so many buttons I don't need it. I just need to right click on it and move it off the GM layer <laughs> to the token layer. A giant scorpion of all things. Yeah, oh God. here it is. <laughs> it's going to go first. Just a giant scorpion hanging out in a tent. Yep, just hanging out. Yeah, I'm, 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 that's way too weird. You get the feeling it was uh, some kind of like trained war beast, and that might have been its kennel. Um, is why they tell me it's in there. What's my speed? My speed is. Can I nature it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you totally can on your turn. But first, I gotta. Where the hell maybe is I my can, speed? Maybe I can turn it around. It uses it against them. There you go. Uh, just w watch me roll a natural one on that. Son of a bitch, where is my speed? I can't read this B sheet, Andrew. Save my life. That's three. Uh, I've had three ones. You have, man. It's not a good day for you. Speed is 40. Okay, so five. Ten. Why can't I? Oh, I'm on the GM layer, so that's why. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. It moves there, doesn't do anything, just kind of like hisses and clacks its claws. Its tail gets raised up in the air. The gnolls move forward to the banks of the river. And they are gonna check Doomsday Dawn and see if they're in there. Yeah, they're in there. Okay. So they both have short bows. How far away is Zendarin? Wonderful. Um, All right. So they're gonna take two actions and they're gonna fire at you. End it. Please. 27 to hit. That hits. Is that over 10? Um, That is, actually. All right. The first attack's a critical hit. Does a 20 hit? Hit. All right, so I'm gonna roll these first. Um, so I, I mean, it should hit if a 27 is a crit. That's fair, yeah. yeah. Um, Are these composite um, bows? Can I nimble dodge or? Yep, that is a reaction you can oh. use. All right. Um. Well, no, actually, no. That's the one get me over the uh, AC. Never mind. All right. Fair enough. Um, Plus, these are not composite short bows. So they just criticals. It would, yeah. It's like raising a shield. It boosts his armor class yeah. by two, so it could. Uh, okay. But like it, 20 would then equal my AC. So then uh, fair. Mm. From two attacks, well, 13 the, points of damage. But it would, would um, if you take the action, would that raise your AC high enough to not get critted? Um, because that's relevant. Yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah. Um, then I will, I will nimble dodge. Uh, See? Understood. Uh, so you like the arrow hits your like your so, eye almost, and you move your head in such a way that it like nicks your ear. Remove the six, take seven points of damage. They're gonna shoot at you again. It feels like I'm picking on you, but please no, <laughs> he has to die. Does a ten hit? <laughs> Just end him. <laughs> He's going to get everyone else killed. I can see. Uh, does a what hit? A ten. Ten. Ten does not hit. All right. The, eight, but the 18 does 18 for 1d6. Yeah, and I can't do it again, so let's... Three more points of damage. Kovacs, All right. what you doing, All right. Mm. Um. Can I prepare an action? Yep. A readied action is two actions to ready one. If the action does not take place on your turn, it's considered a reaction. Oh, okay. Which should be fine um, for you. I don't think you have any reactions as a fourth level barbarian. Do you? You might. I don't think you do. 
I'm going to move up here. Okay. And then I'm going to ready an action that when any of these things come close to me, I'm going to fight them. All right, understood. To you, Gar, what's up? I'm just checking uh, the druid to see what he can do animal-wise. Okay. Is there anything that the druid has? Class features. I don't. I have wild empathy. That is a thing. Does that help? It might. Um, it depends on how they classify vermin now. I'll say that. And no, it's treated as an animal, so. You could do it. You could try to influence the attitude of their pet scorpion. Uh, okay. You have a connection to creatures of the natural world that allows you to communicate with them on a rudimentary level. You can lose, lose diplomacy to make an impression on animals and to make very simple requests of them. Okay. All right. I have a very simple request. Don't join the fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. Make a diplomacy or intimidate or deception check. Social check. All right. right. Here's hoping you've trained one of them. Yes. Um, you probably I'm have intimidated. In, I'm pretty good in intimidation. Fair enough. Okay. Um, all right. Now the question is, can I do that? Nope. Uh, 21. That's good enough. Yeah, this you look at the scorpion and you begin to talk at it. and I make clicking sounds. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the scorpion, it's hard to get emotions from a giant insect, but it seems to hesitate a little for sure. All right. How many that was the first. Uh, I think it's a one action. One or two. Action. I'm not sure. I got I to gotta look at skills here. Because I'm not expecting skills in combat. I should be, because scared to death is a feat. It's real good. I don't know if I'd call it real good, but it exists. It's there. People could take it. Oh, I mean, classes, skills. Here we go. Just from, I think, I think it's the one action thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right. And then I, uh, I know the question. If the scorpion doesn't join, do I even, should I even morph? Uh, maybe I should try something else. Uh, I mean, I still haven't used other stuff of my uh, class features. Mm -hmm. How about I try some of uh, something of um, something of that nature? Uh, I think I will use a second level spell slot for. Uh, Summon nature's ally. Oh, good. Spell. Okay. Here's hoping I have a relevant token. So, let's see. I think maybe something relevant. Can I maybe, maybe I can summon like a, where's the list of animals that I can summon with that? That's a good question. I have no idea. Summoning spells or spells? Ah, yeah, I there we go. Out. I think I found it, yeah. Um, I use it as a second level spell. So my options are Constrictor, Snake, Electric Eel, Goblin Dog, Horse, Haunting Spider, Hyena. That's the one I think I will pick just because it's flavorful. Yeah. Uh, Leopard, Method Elemental, or Wolf. I mean, the wolf is also great, but I think just for flavor here, I think I will pick the Hyena because it just fits so well. Fair enough. Alrighty, there you, you go. You also should have a token for that. <laughs> yep, I do. I definitely have a hyena token. You can put it wherever you want to summon it. It acts well, immediately with the minion trait. It's got two actions. Okay. Does it just 
it can it just spawns in a certain radius around me or, or does it just spawn right next to me I'm how does it work? oh i have no idea i've actually never gm for well no i gm for a druid once i did this oh suggestion summon monster summon each ally range is 30 feet all right so i can summon it within 30 feet so that does make sense to Summon it somewhere over there. Yeah. Uh, so I summon it next to a, a bear dwarf. Alrighty. You have control of the token. So, all right. So I summon it here. Well, that actually takes three actions to do, and you've used one. Oh, summoning costs three actions? Yep. Material, somatic, and verbal. Oh, okay. So I can't summon it. Or the well, scorpion but... can be hostile still. Uh, no, I think uh, keeping the uh, scorpion out of the fight is currently more important. All right, I'll put this hyena um, in the river for the next time case, when you're ready to summon him. Yeah, we'll use it on another turn. Okay. Um, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I use a cantrip. I use Allergo on the dwarf. Allegro? Yeah. Are you a 14th level bard? No. Oh. I think that's a cantrip. It is a cantrip, Wait. but it's, a, it's actually also a power for 14th level bards. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely in there as cantrip, yeah. I understand why. Yeah, uh, it's, a bar, it's a bard feed, a level 40 bard feed. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised. You are a strange druid. Yeah, cantrip. Oh, there I go. Okay, I was confused. What? So they have... They should be careful about naming things, uh, two things the same thing. Yeah, it's... I don't like how the powers are jammed in with the spells either. It's weird. Yeah. So I choose the dwarf and uh, speak some uh, words of power under my breath. And the dwarf feels how he's getting faster and speedier. But he doesn't because Allegro is for 14th level bards and you can't cast it. No, it's a cantrip. It is a cantrip. You're totally right. You're completely right. But that cantrip is only available to bards at 14th level. It's huh? it's called a composition cantrip. It's it's imagine like uh uh like warlock cantrip. It's kind of like that. I could have sworn that's on my list of cantrips. I'll double check if it's on the primal druids. cantrip list. I'm playing druids forever. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Uh -oh. Min maxing for fun and profit. Yeah, just play druids. You need to do nothing. Just haste everyone. You have your cantrips are acid splash, dancing lights, detect magic, disrupt undead, electric arc, guidance, no direction, light, prestidigitation, produce flame. Well, it, well, if I have it, it should be right at the start. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fair. Right? Yeah. I don't have it. Okay. You do not. Nah. Weird. Uh, why do I think that I have that on my list? Because you really want to haste people Strange. with a cantrip. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh god, I'm gonna take that cantrip. That's a good cantrip. Right. Uh, yeah. Alright, so, hmm. This game would be so broken. Yup. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is that actually a cantrip? That's awesome. Alright. Uh, Alright. How about a web spell? Okay, web spell sure. So that seems a little more balanced. Let's see if we can do that, because I would need to check how many action that costs. Web takes, yeah, I bet two. Like most of the spells, I bet it's two actions. Uh, Web is three. No, Web is all three. three. <laughs> oh my god, god dang it. it. <sighs> yeah. That's. It's holding us up because I have to, like, check what spells I have and then check how many actions it costs. Blah. <sighs> oh. I know. That, that, this should help. How many action does Shillelag go? Shillelagh? Yeah, Shillelagh. Oh, Shillelagh. Shilaga. That's how I used to pronounce it before I heard someone say it the correct way and I was a fool. Ah, uh, Shillelagh costs two actions. You can do it. Nice. All right. I grab the stuff on my back and cast Shillelagh on it. Okay. Understood. Chewie, what's up? Now I have a magical stuff. You did it. I think I took so long that Chewie uh, 
didn't pay attention anymore. Oh my god, that spell is so good. As long as you're on your home plane, attacks, it does an extra die of damage, so you get at level 1, that's a 3d8. Blah. That's pretty yeah, good. That's pretty much why I, I took it. That's like, really as heck. Drew it, and it's really good. Yeah, this is very good. Alright, Shree, what you got? I'm Actually, but before you got anything, uh, hang on a second. I need to see you rolled a 22. That does beat the perception DC of both the gnolls and the scorpion. They're not aware of you. They're very aware of Zendarin, and a couple of the arrows probably land like real close I, to your feet. I, You're I, fine. I, I, he's talking on the, the camera. I can't hear him, though. Yeah, you're talking. I see your mouth move. Oh, Aha! I had my, uh. my mic. The cat was meowing, and I forgot to turn my mic on. <laughs> Thanks, cat. <laughs> so I, so good, I was man. like, okay, I would like to do some diplomacy, since I can speak their language is what I was saying. Okay, sure. Make it happen. Okay, what I'm, what I'm saying is um, we can... We can give you food, and I can entertain you with with magic and stuff, is what I'm saying. Just don't hurt us. I can give you food and entertain you. Diplomacy check. You're, uh, you're hiding behind my back and talking to them? That will break self. You? <laughs> you gotta, like, okay. poke around. Don't kill us, please! Pop back. Yeah. <laughs> it's doable. You can do it. You can do it. Maybe. Make the diplomacy check. Yeah, mm, that might. That may be. What's my will DC? What's my will DC? Oh, where is it even? Not quite. Don't you you say these things in Null, and they just... They both kind of, like... They look like real hungry dogs standing by their food bowl, almost. Except for not, like, looking up at you waiting for food. They're looking at the food that's across the river. They don't say oh. anything. They just... <laughs> Well, that was good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I can do gnolls and goblins, it turns out. My only two voices. And that was that was some actions, Chewie. I don't know how many. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm still sitting on Shillelagh. Skills, I think diplomacy. Normally, these are supposed to take a minute, but I am generous. calling it Shillelagh because then everyone else is going to start calling it Shillelagh. That's how it's pronounced, right? Shillelagh? Is that? I think. That's what I've heard. That, that's the name of the episode. No one knows how to speak Gaelic. So <laughs> That was a request. They refused the request. One action used. They're aware of you. They yeah, are aware of you. <laughs> how is that okay. Hmm. They've acknowledged your existence. Yeah. <laughs> that, hmm. Looks like good shoe toy. <laughs> <laughs> when I hear that, he, he yeah, yeah, you hear that, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 you start hearing us. But your name is Chewy. Yeah, you I did this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I want to move backwards after hearing that. Okay, yeah, by all means, you've like, got two actions. Like the. <laughs> Do I have a bite attack? I have a bite attack. Okay. So and, you are fifteen. Do I? How many actions? Do you want to use both of your actions? I want to try to get around to the tree. Okay, sure. Let's, you can definitely do that. So, let's see here. Let me zoom out of my screen slightly. Too zoomed in there. Happens to the best of us. Move. Thing. Okay. Can I get to here? Yeah. Within my turn. Okay. I'm not sure what your speed is, but I'm sure. My speed is 25 feet. Okay, so you were, you were there 5... 10, 15, yeah, that's one move action to get there. You have one more action. Okay, um... Use it wisely. I, hmm. Uh, since diplomacy failed, I use, um... Magic Missile to target the... <laughs> the Null. Alright, sure. Okay, Works so for me. See. As long as that's one action. You get one missile. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's one how missile. Works. yeah that's right. Okay, then I'm using my power then, which is basically a called force projectile, which is a baby magic missile basically. Okay. So let me look and see how much that does. That is um I will a D twenty and then okay. Do you mean force bolt? 
Yeah, Force Bolt. All right, that takes two actions. You don't have enough actions to do that. You do have enough actions for one magic missile. Uh, it's kind of amusing. Mm. Is it worth it, though? Do they have any items on them? Yeah, they have like bows them. they've shot at you with them. Okay, then I can use my maid's hand. To, uh, can I use it to pick up the arrows and the quill? Uh, oh, uh, what's the range on mage hand? I don't know. I never wrote down the range. 30 feet. Could no. I do that? No. Nah. Hmm. You cannot. They're like 60-ish yeah. feet away. They're definitely in, mage hand, oh. or in uh, magic missile range. Yeah, I'm going to take the one magic missile attack. Sure. Auto hit. D4 plus one. You did it. Who are we targeting? One. Are we targeting the gnolls or the scorpion? The null. Which one? Um, the one below the scorpion. Understood. 1d4 plus 1. Alright, let me change the... One. Come on, max damage. You got this. Do 5 damage. <laughs> 2. Alright, I need you to flavor that kill. Just kidding. That's definitely not flavor that kill. Poop <laughs> <laughs> dead. Even when I'm cheering on, it causes one. Yeah, man, it does. <laughs> I point my finger like a gun as I go. <laughs> <laughs> Zendarin, what you got? One of the gnolls gets oh. hit. It kind of just like baps it in the nose a little. It looks a little like uncomfortable. Its eyes cross a little to follow the magic missile. Mostly unfazed. Yeah. Um, I have a hand crossbow. Um. I'm not sure what's going on with the scorpion, but I I heard the clicking sounds coming from our druid, so I'm guessing he's talking to that. And sure. um, which one of these guys was the one that shot the almost crit at me? It was the top one, right? That's correct. Um, I'm going to shoot back at him. And make sure I get this right. Because I'm definitely not going over there. That's fair. Um, you guys can also definitely tell, like, the ground on your side of the river is pretty fat. Pr yeah, pretty flat, but the river's moving fast from north to south. And, like, on their side of the bank, it's a pretty steep angle. Up! You did it! <laughs> I did it! Get right for you! <laughs> you sure you want to die? <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. okay. Got it. <laughs> but, um, oh, wait, uh, plus... Four. Plus four. Yeah. Do you add stuff on the crossbow? Oh, um, do I? I don't think you do. I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Unless you're um, a level so, one ranger, in which case sometimes you can add half your wisdom. Which feels weird. No. But no, I'm thinking five e. Sorry. Fair enough. Uh, that's um, so three damage. Okay. Uh, double. And then so I, I one more because you crit. Oh, yes. Four points and, of damage. Oh, well, yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. Now, Feels what good. does a... Oh, I'm looking at spells. I have all the spells open and I regret it. I need equipment, please. There we go. I want to make sure... Because I haven't looked at crossbows, like, at all. I don't know what they do. I don't know what's going on with them. Weapon statistics. Mm -hmm. Doing some scrolling. Hand crossbow, literally no abilities. Okay, got it. I wasn't sure if nope. they were like deadly or something. Four damage is noted. You you kind of do the same thing Chewie did, except the crossbow bolt sticks in his snout. <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> Begins fussing at it, trying to get it out. It has a bolt piercing. Yeah, yeah you, you literally like... give him a septum piercing. Just boom. <laughs> Somehow the bolt turns 90 degrees. I don't like people shooting sharp things at me either. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, that's one action. Um, uh, I'm going to try and get away and sure. join my friend Chewie back here at this tree. Alrighty. Um, Rains to buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, can't quite hide. Um, oh, I'll reload. Got it. And then it goes to the gnolls. Who are... Are they smart enough to strategize? Looks at Doomsday Dawn. I have a Wisdom of Zero and an Int and Cha of minus one each. Oh, we're not that smart. We don't understand how tree works. 
We understand that not... Scorpion is our friend. We'd like Scorpion to attack. We're going to make checks. We add minus three. <laughs> We're untrained in this. Well, no, we add our level. It's our level. Mm. What even is that? I could put it together if I knew... What's my dex? My dex is plus one. Oh, Crucial level is three. So they'll... Plus zero. They're literally just rolling d20s. That's their first action. A three and a ten is not enough. They both look at the scorpion and just... And, like, pull at it, trying to get it to move. The three doesn't yes. quite fumble. Actually. Actually. Mm. Actually. A three might fumble. The three... The three... Does fumble. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get aggressive. Someone else can learn how that it feels. Join us. It triggers a reaction from the scorpion. The scorpion, as it like growls, the scorpion somehow gets mildly offended and stings at him and misses, probably. I think, right? I assume I have a better than 14 AC. I better. Yeah, okay, I do. They've used one action. For the second action, they're gonna... They're going to see how far away they are from that druid. Too far in both cases, huh? Yeah, okay. So we're going to attack the only guy we can see. That's Kovacs for a 24 to hit and a natural 20. Oh, Ooh, that's well, not good. Wow. 24 hits. Uh, these, are short, these are short bow attacks, and yes, 24 hit me. They're, yeah, they're firing short bows. Does a 24 crit you? Yeah. Uh, 24 does not crit me. All right, so it's literally the same damage that we did before. 3d6 plus the deadly dice, which is a d10. 12 points of damage. Oh, <laughs> Almost <my>. minimum. Three <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the curse continues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is happening tonight? Then we have a 10 to hit you and a 21 to hit you. I think that's, that's a 1 in 216. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Actually, I my AC is twenty, so I think a ten critically misses me. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Me. All right. So the knoll that crits, I don't want him to get stung again. What I'm, what's going to happen is he, as he leans forward, he hits you, and the, the arrow like gets you in like the clav. Where's your clavicle? Is that this bone? I don't know how to do science. It hits you in the neck part, and it hurts. <laughs> And he gets a little too excited, and he goes to fire again, and he accidentally steps a foot forward and falls in the water. Okay. Also, I assume that 21 hits yeah. Yeah, it does. I have two damage this time. Ha ha. Yikes. We're out of actions. His turn ends. Those rocks aren't there. Ten feet downriver. What are you going to do about it, Kovacs? Um... I'm going to figure out if I can leap across this river real quick. Okay. I do have the powerful leap feet. Ooh. Okay. This is about to get exciting. I don't know how that works. Let's take a look. Yeah, i go go find it again. Powerful leap. It's an athletic skill feat. When you use the leap action, you can jump five feet up with a vertical leap and increase the distance you can jump horizontally by five feet. How far can and, you normally jump? Athletics. Uh, normally jump jumping with an athletics is a long jump is two actions. You stride. If you move at least 10 feet, roll an athletics check and attempt to leap horizontally in the same direction. The DC of the check is equal to five plus the total distance in feet you're attempting to move during your leap. So there's 15 feet of river there. Okay. And so I can get across that, right? Yeah, yeah, you can. With a successful athletics check? Yep, with a DC 20 athletics check. I'm going for it. Alrighty. I'm moving up and then. Please, DC 20. DC 20. I <laughs> have to roll slightly above average to get this. You got this. 23. Boom! <laughs> no. So you land. Mike uh, Jordan over the river. It's where do I land? Awkward. You move diagonally. So you were. Where did you start? You started here. Yeah. So I guess I'll say I start. I move over here instead and jump here. Okay. Sure. That works. That's fine by me. So that's two actions, right? Yeah. And then one action. Yeah. Yeah. That's two actions. That's fine. All right. I'm just gonna punch this guy in the face. Sure. Um. That sounds like a good plan. Twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. 
Uh, no. That's a pretty hard punch. Boom! Nine damage, right where the magic missile hits. <laughs> it's not happy. <laughs> Two okay, guys. Yes. Well, since I tried that at last round, I think I should stick to it. I will summon my hyena. <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> Three actions. You can put them wherever. You should have control of that token. Uh, you do, yeah. Check. Da, da, da. 30 feet, so up to there. Okay. Let's play this there first. All right. It That's has two, two actions action. and acts right now. All right. How deep is the water? The water looks pretty deep. The the null's in almost up to his head. Uh, that sounds troublesome. Yeah. You got this. What's the athletics mm -hmm. on a hyena? You have a druid. I have no idea. Plus, plus six, because athletics yeah, is plus six. Are you... It sounds doable. You could. Let's see. I don't know. I've rolled ones and mine's in the, my athletics. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's a summon, so it's not that oh, bad. Yeah. But it's true. You would need to roll a 14. Oh, it's, it's a DC 20? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's five plus the distance of the river, which is 15 feet. actually kind of challenging. You could do it. I, I kind of like that they designed it so the minor obstacles are still obstacles. Yeah, yeah, um, that's definitely a thing. The quicksand is oh, well, the hardest thing so far. Let's yeah. attempt it. Okay, sure. I need to get to here, so let's try to check. Boom! <laughs> nice, okay. <laughs> I think that's uh, natural 20 number 3. Yeah, you're killing it, dude. You, you are. have as many 20s as I have once. The truest warrior. There you are. You made it. That consumes all of its actions. Chewy, everyone's jumping across this river. <laughs> I'm not jumping across that river. I'm not. No. That's fair. That's quite fair. Okay. I'd like to use my cantrip um, electric arc. Sure. <laughs> Uh, does it have enough range? Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot about the range mechanics on my spells. I was like, I can, can. Yeah, hmm. I'm looking at my spells, see if any's good for. My hope was. Mes Message has 500 feet range. Yes, oh, whisper in yeah. the air that you'd like to make peace with them. Cheer them on. <laughs> You should be careful with message uh, in some low magic setting. Oh, you die in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay wow, I'm going... magic setting. I'm going to use um, message and try another diplomacy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sure. Roll it. On the one that's not in the water. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say we won't kill you and we'll give you food if you stop we'll be friends all right make that diplomacy check all right let's see diplomacy is a plus five for me so let's that's not bad you could maybe we'll see i think that's what i made on the last it diplomacy is. check so you you cast message you spend how, how many actions is message i think it's one one maybe two i'm just guessing just guessing, you have a book. I yeah. have a book. Everyone has books. Oh, yes, message. We do. Eh, message, there it is. Messi message is casting one app. Oh, that's mending. Never mind. It's like, how does that even <laughs> hold up? <laughs> one action. You cast it. He's in range. He kind of freaks out a little bit because he's not expecting it and he doesn't really have much of a grasp on what magic is other than just a bunch of hokum. <laughs> and he. Flips, he's like, <laughs> and in doing so, you don't break. Well, you're not hiding. He doesn't see you. It's you can. You didn't critically fail. He's not undiplomacyable, but he's kind of freaking out a little bit now, looking around all over the place, growling. Hmm. So, could I use message again on him just to freak him out, like say hello or something from behind him? That would be a deception check, I believe. Ah. But yes, but yes, you could. Okay, deception. I'm literally just saying boo. Yeah, I want to do boo. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Let's see. 
That's level five with this one. So yeah. Casters. <laughs> that's yeah. That that's a thing. Okay, wow. so oh, let me wow. see. That that's pretty much what happens. <laughs> He's looking around and trying to figure out what's going on. And message is normally a whisper, but Chewie gets it a little loud. Everyone hears just this resounding just <laughs> boo because that's the voice I'm forcing on you. You're a goblin. Okay. And what happens? What what can we we can? You're not creating a diversion. You're not lying or impersonating. You're you're fainting essentially. The target is flat-footed against all melee attacks attempted against it until the end of its next turn. Well, no, the requirements of that are you're within melee reach of the target. That doesn't work. Oh, oh what can you have done? You essentially are creating a diversion. It's... Mm, I'm just... What I'm going to say is that happens. <laughs> it topples into the water. <laughs> it provokes reactions from the hyena and Kovex if they have it. The hyena does not... Yeah, hyena has no reactions. Kovax also has no reactions. Not ready. Fair enough, Centaurin. Well, well, not Centaurin. This crazy little goblin's got one more action. The hyenas are in the water. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Any suggestions? Pingy with magic missile. Oh yeah. How'd you get really oh, quiet all of a sudden? Where'd you go? Yeah. I don't know. I Hang think on. you must have, your mic must have moved. Probably. Hang on. Say something. Uh, Boom. Better. You did it. Yep. Yep. All good. <laughs> after diplo after deceptioning someone in water. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, All these encounters have just gone so sideways. They're either working really well, not the way they were intended, or you guys are just doing terrible things. I, I still think that the quicksand was the real final boss. Yeah, guys. Yeah. No Dominion of the Black, Dominion of the Quicksand. <laughs> okay, then I'll just like to... Um, let's see, I'm going to move over to here. Sure. Just get like behind the tree since I don't know what the scorpion's going to do. Okay, fair enough. Zendaran, what you got? I... Those gnolls are probably flat-footed right now. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to I'm gonna take some pot shots here. Um, so... Let's keep firing off that crossbow. Um, 21 may do more things than hit. Uh, we gotta see. Gotta see a thing. I don't know. Pretty flat footed now. They're definitely Ooh. flat footed, but I don't know if they're taking any more penalties than that. They might be. They very well might be. Oh, I don't want to see all the spells about sea serpents. I don't care about sea serpents. Sea serpents are cool, actually, but yeah, they're awesome. They're sweet, super cool, but I don't. They, they don't have a swim speed. Right <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just gonna call them flat-footed for now. I think. Ah, oh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, do do do. Use the aquatic combat rules and drowning. But we're not using aquatic combat because we're not fighting in the water. I'm just gonna call him flat footed. It does not critically hit, it does hit. Okay. Uh D6. I'm good with that. Alright. And... You also uh I believe you would get your sneak attack. I oh yes! Oh, uh that's my Unless the only hang up is do you have to be within 30 feet first? Um, let me check my rule book. Nope, doesn't look like it. You strike a flat-footed creature with an agile or finesse melee weapon, an agile or finesse unarmed attack, or ranged attack. Nothing about that 30-foot anymore. Okay. So you get that D4? Um, No, it's an extra 1D6. Oh, nice. Fair enough. Oh, I see that. What am I thinking? I think I'm thinking Starfinder. We get D4s. Okay. Eight damage. Eight top and then, Um, Top. Alrighty, eight damage is assigned. That guy crit me. And uh, I'm going to second action reload. Third action, I'm shooting again. Sure. And come on. Okay, crit. that's a critical hit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. Now, so. I think I read somewhere that the critical or that sneak attacks are multiplied now. I might be oh. wrong. I could have swore I heard Kane say that at some point. Mm. Okay, no, it's it's still extra precision damage. Just they're not multiplied, so it's three d six essentially. Okay, then uh, I'll roll two more. 
10 points of damage, duly noted. Yeah, you got him. He's not happy. The arrow, like, hits in the face. He looks up, and then you catch him in the neck. I actually, actually, he might be a certain kind of unhappy. He might be a dead unhappy. No, he's still alive. Never mind. He's doing good. And now it's their turn. Do I have ranks in athletics? I do. Okay, cool. The Knolls, they definitely see Zendarin. They're going to attempt athletics checks to swim. So that's really all they can do. Well, that's not mm. true. They could do other stuff. But they need to cross the river. They're pissed. They, they, they're going to swim across the river to me. Mm -hmm. instead of Big bear around. dwarf guy right here. Oh, all yeah. Right, that is a thing. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to let them risk that. Bear dwarf guy is scary. Yeah. Okay, that's not so hard. So first one, second one. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Everyone can feel the ones. They can. Second try. Oh man, I A 9 that. and a 12 both don't make it. Third try. Uh, Lots of natural uh, ones today. Yes! Mm. Oh. Okay, wow. fair enough. And then the turn ends. They end up there. They try to swim. One of them gets a little ways, but most of the current just carries them downriver. Kovex, they're getting away. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Yeah. Okay. Kovacs is gonna start raging. Sure. Um, and then after I start raging, I'm going to run down here and bite this guy while he's in the water. <laughs> sure. Make it happen. D twenty. No. Oh my god. <laughs> is that your first one? That is my first natural and one. Into the drink you go. You try to bite, yep. you lean a little too far forward, you get a little anxious That's... and just into the water. One Everybody more action you have. Got it now now we action. need the the aquatic combat rules, because now we're using them. Alright, what's going on? How does anything work? What is happening? Up is down. For battles underwater or while floating in the water, the following rules modify how you fight. You're flat-footed unless you have a swim speed. You gain resistance 5 to acid and fire. You take a minus 2 circumstance penalty to melee, bludging, or slashing attacks to pass through the water. That doesn't bother. Uh, okay, yeah. Basically, you just, you're flat-footed. It's the only thing that really matters. I could have taken Raging Athlete, which would have gave me a climb and swim speed. <laughs> but I decided to take the one that gives me 10 feet instead. Fair enough. Well, you got one more action. Or no, Raging's one action. Oh, yeah, I, but... I, yeah, I rage. That feels bad that Raging's an action. It used to be a free action. But it is it not. It becomes a free action at later levels. Ah, fair enough. All right, Tugar, what's up? Oh, also, wow. at, the, at the end of Kovacs' turn, he moves 10 feet down the river. All right, uh, my creature acts on my turn. Yes, it does with two actions. All right, first action run up, up I think up to here, so it gets a little bit more range, and then attack. Sure. Do you have the stats of the hyena? I do. It. Uh, I'll just roll it real quick. It adds seven, Not and bad. it criticals. <laughs> Could tell you. Good doggo. Good doggo. Good doggo. Good doggo. Got a crit. Roll 2d6 plus 4. That's what's happening. Good doggo. Good doggo does almost maximum damage. And has knocked down. No. So that's weird. Uh, the null <laughs> falls underwater, I guess. <laughs> nice. Blub, uh, blub, blub. My is, uh, is drowning. No. Yes, it is. You got one more action. If you were to uh, attack that guy again, you can, but the attack will pass through the water now, which means that... Oh, it means some stuff. What stuff, though? I forget. I gotta go back and find that rule set. All the buttons to press. You take a minus two circumstance penalty to melee, bludgeoning, or slashing attacks that pass through the water. Because either you or your target is underwater. Okay, so it doesn't uh, give him resistance. Sounds, sounds like a bad idea because it would reduce. That would mean it would just roll a d20. Yeah. D20 so, minus. Yeah, that's right. It totally would. 
So you said you can do reactions. It doesn't have any like, reactions. I mean, actually, like, it has. It only has two actions. It moved and attacked. That's all it can oh. do anyway. All right. Um, and I will do pretty much the same. Move up and well. Give him that shillelagh. You're on your home plane. That's three D eight. Can you can move here? I think right. That's not water. Um. Yeah, no, that's... You're probably, like, waist deep in the water. You might have to... The current will hit you if you stand there, but you could stand there. Yeah, I'm, like, like not sure because it's, like, half water, half land. Yeah, this is what happens when Paizo doesn't give us maps, and they say, draw the map yourself. Okay, so uh, I guess I will not not quite stand in the water, but... Okay, fair enough. Um, and then I'll try to whack him with my no magic staff. Yeah, with a really good, really right. good spell. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> It also adds to my hit, right? It does, yeah. It's a plus three weapon. Well, plus well three. that feels wrong. Hang on. I gotta double check yeah. that. Shillelagh! Oh, shillelagh! It only, it only oh. does a third versus certain creatures. Oh, oh, that's right, yeah. These are not aberrations. I lied. Uh, we got really excited. No, don't oh. Boo! This spells bad again. No, it's not. It's <laughs> actually super good. Oh, shillelagh. Shilliga. There we go, Shillelagh. Uh, do, do, do. It's a plus so one potency rune, like, and he gains a plus else. one. Okay, yeah, so it's... It would add a third extra die, but it's just a plus one quarter staff. All right, let me see. That's the first time I'm actually trying to attack when while I'm not morphed. Okay, that's a plus nine, so it's a little bit worse than my shape-shifting. Let's see if we can hit... That hits. 19. 19 hits him. All right. So the damage... a baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the normal damage of the staff is 1d8. Yep. So I add another d8. So yep. it's 2d8. 2d8 plus strength mod. That could, nice mm -hmm. that could be a thing. It's pretty much the same as uh, my bite attack almost. Yeah, it's really almost good. the same as my bite attack. 19 damage. Wow. You whip him real good. Wow. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, That's a home run. It is a home run, actually. I need you to uh, flavor that kill. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> it, it, it's like uh, he takes like the staff in both hands. It's, it's, it's like hitting down with it. It's, it's the same time the hyena is like coming up uh, out of the water. It's like <gasps> gasp for air. And that moment is pretty much like... Split his head. Well, that was was that crack his head like a melon, pretty much. Yeah, that's fair. He is dying one. He he's dying one and drowning. He goes in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're, that's you're that's the worst that. ever. And you have one more <laughs> action. <laughs> Gross. Uh, Get him. I mean that that you, guy is. Uh, you could attack him again. <laughs> Send it. Send it. He's got a I'm minus six to you. He's flat footed and prone. He's Oh nice. All someone right. who was let's, let's give that a shot. Tell, let me tell you, like the suffering's worse. <laughs> um, now just don't fumble. Just don't fumble. <laughs> That's a critical I think sixty Yeah, that that is a critical hit. Gross. Uh he said. <laughs> 4d8 plus 8, which means nothing because he's already at 0, but he goes to yeah, dying so 3. I like rolling dice. Uh, no, yeah, that's the game. Yeah, that's super good. I'm playing a Gestalt <laughs> Druid <laughs> Sorcerer before too long, and I'm, I'm taking <laughs> Shillelagh. <laughs> <laughs> they have more hit points, you've got to roll those crits. Yeah. That's a good combo. That's, yeah, that's very good. I, I was talking about Shillelagh, and I'm like, yeah, my combo is good. I didn't mean it like that, but yeah, no, the idea is... Uh, the sorcerer has like overpowered casting or whatever. The whatever gives me plus one damage per damage die, and I'm just gonna throw lightning at people's faces. Should be good. Yeah. Anyway, let's okay. see that forty-eight plus eight. Uh, uh, that's, that's already uh, my uh, crit damage. All right, I didn't. Uh, I didn't uh, increase the plus damage, so that the first one was actually twenty three damage, and uh -huh. the second one is uh, thirteen damage. Okay, fair enough. But, Wait, the two d eight plus four is your critical? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they're both criticals. Oh. The first one is the second one. 
Oh, but, I see. Uh, it's normally it's, it's one d eight plus four. So if it's a critical, it should be two d eight plus eight. But you have an extra dice right now because you have that plus one potency rune on Shillelagh, which means your weapon is oh, doing two d eight, and then right. when you critical, it becomes four. That. Yeah. I forgot about that. All right. So that that first critical is even higher too. All he's right. he's not doing well. He's at dying three. Chewy. Okay. Look at this okay. you made. <laughs> yeah. I would like to go up close enough to hit them with um. What is it called here? Well, I don't know what it's called, my friend. Hang on. It's that um, frost spell, the Cone of Cold or something. Cone of Cold? Do we uh, have access uh, to that already? <laughs> Ray of Frost? Ray of Frost, thank you. I was looking down here for Cone of Cold. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have a... What's on your spell list? I have Ray of Frost as a zero level spell here. It's okay. at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's a plus three to hit and does um, 1d8. That's fair. Alrighty, who's your target? Well, this one's underwater. You'd have to get closer to see well, him. Well, <laughs> he gets just uh, one, two uh, whapped with a, the shillelagh uh, one, and then two, it goes. Three, five feet, ten feet, ten feet, and that's one turn there, right? Mm-hmm. One action. Okay. I mean, one action, sorry. And then it's a 1d8. 60 feet. I think you're in range from there, aren't you? Are you in range? You are in range. Yes, you are. All right. So I'm going to hit the one at the main end there. Understood. Make that touch attack. I don't and know what my touch AC is. My attack. What's my attack? At 11. Does it hit? It does not. It hits the water. You freeze a little bit of the water. The, it's pretty warm out. It pretty much just thaws instantly. Ah. And that was... that. Spell is two actions, Zendarin. Yep. Um, the first one's pretty much taken care of. Um, yeah. Yeah. I. What is the range on my crossbow so I can see if I can shoot the other guy? If it's the same, it's 80 feet. Um, hand crossbows have 60 feet. Oh, fair. Okay. Um, so I have you to. Should, you'd have to step first. Yeah. So one step. Um, that should be sixty feet, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you're good. Gonna take some pot shots. Uh... All right. Okay. Eighteen hits. You got him. He remains flat-footed. Okay. Uh, that's. Two damage, and I'm a, oh, uh, but sneak attack, right? Yep, you got it. He's flat footed. And all right, seven total, nice. and I'm reloading. Understood. So that's all from you then. It goes to the null that isn't on two guards initiative account. Count Blair because he's dying. This null is gonna just make that swim check. He's gonna make that athletics check. He's gotta get out of here. Yeah, Michael Phelps it, man. And he does. Mm -hmm. He swims to here. Then he has to make a climb check. Because as I said, there's a pretty steep incline there. He has to... And he wow. correctly succeeds that one. I should have attacked you. Should have bit at someone. Is what I should have done. Uh, where is it now? Do, do, for... Okay, it's... Yeah, that's a critical success. So he gets up there and he is going to... Man, probably just take off, huh? What's my speed? 25 feet. My third action, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. The knoll is in retreat, Kovacs. All right. Um, I'm swimming to the shore. Okay. Make that swim check. So that's athletic to it? Or? Yep. You got it. Uh, 12. Oh, 12 is not good enough. It doesn't fumble. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll try again. Okay, sure. 13. 13 is still not good enough. Raging against the current. You got nothing. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep trying. A 25, 25. is a critical success. <laughs> Sick. Now, now you gotta climb. Yeah, the critical success says he gets the climb check oh, and oh, he, yeah. he ends up. Oh, hell yeah. 
He just kind of like right. vaults when he reaches like his. He's trying to do his the like he breast strokes forward and then he realizes that didn't work and so he starts like bear crawling through the water and then he grabs onto a like a rock and just out of the water. Nice. It's kind of beautiful. Tugar, what's that? What's your class DC? I know you told me already. My class DC is sixteen. Sixteen. My fortitude is somewhere on this sheet. Uh, good. I'm not used to reading these yet. Where even? Four plus eight. Okay. So he could pass. He does pass. He he goes the dying one, but is drowning. It's awkward. He's probably just dead. Well, he's not dead. He's a dying one and drowning. He's been underwater for one round. Actually, that that's probably bad. I need to. I'm gonna check how that works. But just for the sake of this is a play test. We want to learn how it works. Not drowning. He's fallen straight into the underdark. There are purple skin elves everywhere. It's bad for him. Okay. He can't hold his breath. He runs out of air. He falls unconscious. He can't recover from being unconscious. And he has to make a DC 24 save on a failure to do a critical failure. He dies. Oh, my God. That's, so basically what happens is oh what would have happened to you guys after you ran out of air? While suffocating, you can't recover from being unconscious. And you must attempt a DC 24 save at the end of each of your turns. On a failure, you take 1d10 damage. And on a critical failure, you die. On each check after the first, the DC increases by 5, and the damage by 1d10. These increases are cumulative. Okay, so he... I, I kind of love the save or die rules like that when they make sense. Yeah. So it's only out of failure? Okay, so he, he seems fine. The body floats away at dying one, but still unconscious. That null's running off. Tugar, what you got? I have some brains in There's, there's quite a bit of blood also coming like both down the river and like in this direction or this direction rather as that knoll's retreating. Oh, Robin. Mac mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just... He, he's right next to me, so that should be easy. He's... Does he still have penalties to his AC? Yeah, that one there is it dying... Uh, Mm, dying too, I think. Yeah, and he's underwater. All right, let's. We'll just roll my attack twenty six. That is, you take a minus two, so you got a twenty four. It's still a critical, which is enough to put him to dead. Nice, nice. <laughs> I whack the poor guy to death with my <laughs> shilele. Just roll the damage for fun. Yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, 28 damage? <laughs> I think I dealt like 70 damage to him or something. That's a, Shillelagh is a real good spell in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Also, that null's very dead. <laughs> you kind of like whack him. I want to flavor this kill. I get to flavor kills too. Like in his chest and the last bit of air out and a little bit of the water comes in. and Super dead. You've got two actions. Your hyena's got two actions. The last hostile target's running away. Alright, let's move up to it. Okay. See if your hyena can like knock him down or hold him or something. Your hyena does yeah, have an ability. Yeah, my uh, hyena yeah, does have a knockdown. Uh, if it ability. hits, you can knock it down, and it has an ability called drag, which you make a strike for one action. If it hits, in addition to dealing damage, you move up to 10 feet and drag it with you. Alright, so um, let's you roll the attack at them to get. Yep, sure. For the hyena. Since you have that still safe somewhere Boom. in your chat. I do. 18 does hit for a d6 nice. plus 2, and the, and the null drops. Nice. For max damage, even. The null actually. Good doggo. Very good doggo. I think that's the second time. Yeah, he's a very good doggo <laughs> indeed. The null's not dead, but the null is hurt. Like, that, like, rips a lot of his Achilles tendon out. And he yeah. drops down. Not looking good. I'll yeah, that should give the uh, bear barbarian enough time to finish it off. Yeah, fair enough. Is that your whole turn? Right. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking. Uh, is there like any? Is that like a careful way to move through the water, or is it always just a straight up athletic check? For you, I imagine the careful way is to turn into a snake or a frog. 
something uh, with swim speed and swim that through would, it. I mean, that would use up uh, my too. last use. Fair enough. Yeah, no, uh, in that case, it's moving pretty fast. Uh, you can jump. I. I don't think that's easier, or is it? It's, mm, is it? Also, I don't have a running start. You don't, yeah. So, yeah, no, it's it's a little harder to jump across than it is to swim. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think at uh, that place, it's on... Uh, I mean, the spot that I'm currently at, I think it's only 10 feet of deep water. Yeah, that's fair. So I think that lowers the DC, right? It just it's so less ground for you to cover. So you, you can swim across it in a turn with an athletics check. All right, let's do an athletics check. I think that's uh, pretty good for me. I think it's, but, uh, yeah, it's plus eight. Come on, no, don't fail. That does not I fail. Do. You dive into the water and swim to the other side. That square is like a 45 degree angle of rocky terrain that you need to climb up. But that's next right. turn, because that was... That was a move, and swimming is an action, and then bashing a dude in the face is an action. So, Chewy. Yep. I would like to make a safe way across. Like, can I tie my rope to a crossbow bolt and suit it across? Yeah. To help get across? Sure. Well, I'm just preparing stuff. Oh, it's... I, do I don't know what that would be, but I thought of it. That's a, a attack roll with a pretty big nag, probably. Because the rope, uh, like, unless you have, like, a grappling hook arrow or something, it's going to weigh down the rope uh, quite a bit. Okay, I, I'm going to make Hawkeye for my next character. <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> hmm. You have that scroll of fly that was given to you. I know, but I don't want to use it now since there's only... Right now. Yeah. You could ask the scorpion to carry you across, but if he stings you halfway across, just remember <laughs> it's in his nature. <laughs> the goblin and the scorpion. It's a new fable. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Then I would like to look for a safe way across. Make a perception. Sure, see make it the happen. Easiest way. Okay. okay. <laughs> you see that if you would to uh, take down the tree and put it across the river, you could. Get over that way. You just have to take down a tree. So with that 22, <laughs> it dawns on you that you guys probably could have snuck around this camp and not been seen at all. It would have added a couple hours of travel time uh, to, your, to your journey. If Zendarin hadn't have said something and got you all caught, you might have just been able to avoid those gnolls outright. Well, I also rolled a natural one. Yeah, yeah, that's here. <laughs> <laughs> so, there were a lot of bad rolls that happened, and it was not good. <laughs> no. But it looks like it's either take a lot of time die. going around or just powering through. Okay, then I'd like to move closer to the... Oh, that's the pointer. Uh, I'd like to move around down to the river to help if I need to, but just uh, move down there to help. All right, sure. you still on the pointer, my friend. Oh, yeah. Well, I switched it. So is this square here in front of me, is that water or safe since it looks like it's at an angle that square is fine that square is not that square is like head okay. high you'd be underwater there for you as a small creature oh right, then i'd say move 40 feet there. that's two actions zindarin um i'm really uh, uh how, how does the scorpion seem is, it's kind of it just not doing anything just sitting yeah. at rest okay um i'm going to uh Try to keep up with the others. Um, I'm. I'll. I don't want to abandon Chewy. So he's he's been he's been good backup. Also, I think he has healing potions. If anything bad happens, <laughs> um, it's accurate. Yeah. Um, I don't have much to do. Uh, I'll ready. I'll I'll have my crossbow ready in case we see anything else, or if the scorpion goes wild. Understood. Goes to the null's turn. The null spends one action to stand up. Oh god. I think it realizes at this point it can't. Yeah, no. There's too many things coming. It can't escape. Surrender's not in its itinerary. It's scared of magic things. So what I'm gonna do is. As it's going to stand up, it's going to spend one action to draw a battle axe from its back. And it's going to attack that hyena. I'm just going to GM against myself real quick. I've rolled a 23 to hit. 
This is so exciting for my players. Hooray. <laughs> it does hit. You, you, the hyena's basically your player character. Yeah. <laughs> I, I appreciate any time it's not me dying. Um, this is fair. This is also fair. D8 plus 5. A D8. Oh, yeah, it's a battle axe, not a great axe. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, it is. Let's Ooh. attack us some hyena, which has a lot of hit uh, points. Poor doggo. poor doggo takes 11 damage. It yelps out in pain as the battle axe of this knoll digs in, and that was three actions from me. Kovacs. All right. I'm sprinting towards this hyena with my last turn of rage. I'm going to bite him. Sure. 27. Is a critical is a hit. Crit? Okay, sweet. So... Well, actually, actually, now it's a critical hit. I'll be nice. You need to flank him. <laughs> oh. Because my armor class is 18. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I mean, I'm flat footed. We're good. Oh. Now it's a crit. Okay. It's the last 15 um, minutes, and I have four hit points. It's arbitrary. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't want to steal the kill if I. And then I roll another d10. Correct. And you double your modifier if you didn't already. So 2d20 plus 12. Um, Oh, okay. So then in total, this would be 11, 23 damage. 23 damage already. Flavor that kill. All right. Kovacs, he comes out of the water on all fours, and he continues to run towards the uh, hyena on all fours. And then he goes over uh, towards, like, the tent and, like, bounces off the tent pole onto the hyena's back and bites it in the back of the head. Nice. And he goes you down. A wrestling move? That's awesome. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can't not imagine like a bear crawl with your beard dragging uh, across the ground. Uh, just a quick thing. He kept saying hyena. I think you mean no. Or do you want to kill my son? Oh. It's uh, not really yeah, no. alive. Yeah, it'll go back to its home plane on the <laughs> plane of rolls. <laughs> the plane of I'm, hyenas. I mean, like, actually, <laughs> now here's the question. So if you killed the summon and then ate it, and then the, the summit disappears. Are you still full? It's MSG, dude. <laughs> you come down for 20 minutes. All right, so you have one more action, Kovacs. It's at dying, too. Okay, I'm just tearing into it. All right, make another jealous. attack. It's got a okay. minus 6 to its AC, so its AC is 12, essentially. Well, yeah, critical hit kills it. But you miss. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're too busy tearing. You just get a bunch of fur. You get a bunch of fur and like his armor, and don't, it's just it's just a giant mess. Tugar, don't steal that kill. No. And you're fatigued. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, I mean the you know we'll just tear into that null after it hit it with a battle axe. Oh. So you can do some more playing against yourself. That's a critical hit. It kills it. The hyena digs in. Oh, nice. Dead Knoll is dead. Yeah. Do they both like rip him apart with their jaws? That's well, Kovacs, Kovacs rips <laughs> apart the fur and the clothes more, but the, the hyena uh, just kind of slides in, bites, tears in. It, I kind of imagine in the Hilary scene, it's like the dwarf is on the one side, like an all force tearing into it with his mouth, on the other side, it's like the hyena, they're like pulling out from both sides, like they're fighting about that piece of meat. He's a shoot toy. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. You made the Nolan into a shoot toy. We did it. I wonder how scary yes. that scorpion was supposed to be. What does it do? What's scorpion venom like? Poison's real mean. Oh. Fortitude God, DC no 17, max duration 6 rounds, stage 1d4 poison and enfeebled 1, no. and then enfeebled 2 and more 1d4 poison. It can constrict. Oh, yeah, because claws, sure. It's not bad. It's got a reaction. The creature moves from out of the scorpion's reach into the scorpion's reach. The scorpion can attack. A weird attack of opportunity, essentially. Dude, okay. Poison. Nice. So the scorpion's not hostile. Do it doesn't. It doesn't approach Tugar. It just kind of looks at him and clicks. Just leave him some of the goblin. Uh, of the, uh, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> leave him no some of the Freudian no, slip. Not, not goblin. Leave him some of the goblin. I won't. I won't let them take you, Chewie. Thank you. I cling to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, how about searching those tents? Yeah, sure. And you guys, you two can make perception checks. In the time it takes to search the, the summon, 
is unsummoned. Poof. Make it happen. Uh, All right. Perception checks, everyone. I think it's just... A, can we just cross the, the river to help them out? The current is pretty fast. You guys will have to make those checks. I'm oh, bad at, uh, I bet at looking I, for loot. <laughs> can I do the acrobatics to skip on these rocks? Mm, what can you do with acrobatics? Uh, those I rocks aren't that. actually there. We needed clear ground for the oh. moles to suffer. Oh. oh, where skills are. What can we do? Can we? Maybe there's something in the tents that we can use to make a bridge or something. Balance, Maybe escape, the maintain balance, the squeeze, tumble through, grab an edge. It's a, yeah, It's got to be an athletics check. To okay, jump no, across? I'm waiting. No, no, I'm not doing any more athletics checks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. I've you know what? I have a simple idea. I will throw you guys my rope again, and you can just use the rope to get across. All right, fair enough. So then really because quickly, not, let's, let's get a two-guard to make another range touch attack. See if we can cross the river with that rope. All right, range touch attack. That's... Get that natural 20 again. Kill it. <laughs> I started this. I don't want to end up in water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from drowning we came. From drowning we returned. That, yeah, that hits a 10. You hit the square, the aid another is successful. So you boys both add a plus two as you're swimming across. All right. All right. Don't mess up. Also, also you are kind of like really unlikely to get dragged away too far because yeah. you can just keep hanging onto the rope. That's like, fair. eventually we'll get across. You just need to drag yourself along the rope. Zendaran has a critical success. He's nice. very afraid of drowning. The PTSD kicks in and there's, like, a surge <laughs> of muscular strength rip, 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 across the river. But Chewie, on nice. the other hand, just can't quite figure out how it works. <laughs> He's used to swimming in quicksand, you see. It's thicker. Why yeah. does it make sense? <laughs> it's a different skill set, you know? Yeah. You gotta... I'm an I'm an Olympic athlete at swimming in quicksand. Yeah, I have a gold medal. The Olympic sport is quicksand. <laughs> well, I will try pretty much the same thing we uh, when we did the uh, quicksand. And I will him. try to pull him in right, with sure. the rope. Athletic so check. Athletic. That's good enough. Yeah, sure. Okay, so you right. you move half your speed. Five, ten, fifteen. Give me that rope. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. Chewie's still in the water. Can I get one more athletics check from Chewie? Okay. Dice be with me. You just gotta beat the 13. There, there you go. go. You emerge nice. out onto rocks and like a really like sharp 45 degree angle. You you realize that if Tugar drags you, it's gonna hurt. It, it's not gonna feel good. Well, but, but he does have the rope to make it easier to climb that up. That's fair. Okay, give me one more athletics check then. Okay. I think that check's a little easier, isn't it? Does that get me up well, there? Well, the 20 should do it. Congratulations. Yeah. Right. I can fly. Now Zendar and Shuri can both make uh, uh, relevant checks. Perception checks. Roll yes. On. Now everyone can do perception checks to search for loot. Yep. Which is good. Because That's the, pretty good. The 9 and the 11 were cutting it. Alrighty, so you guys, as you begin to get your bearings, you catch your breath, the encounter's over. You can tell the knoll that isn't, like, bloating on the bottom of the river as we speak. The, he's got a white streak dyed in his fur, and he's wearing a necklace and a couple of, like, piercings and bangles and things that are clearly made of scorpion chitin. In addition, he has one battle axe, leather armor, and a short bow with 20 arrows. Other than that, there's um, not really anything to find. You can definitely I'll tell that this that. tent up here is a very makeshift kennel for this scorpion. Mm -hmm. I'll, um, I'll take that bow off his hands. Okay. One short bow for you. Nice. And the arrows? Should probably take those two. Um. Yes, uh, that's, that's that would be good. <laughs> Can I use my ten to right. get the arrows out of the one that died in the water? You'd have to find him. You uh, you could look for yeah, him. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be good. He probably I'll be good with twenty. Drifted down the river. Right yeah, now. he's he's way yeah. out stream at this point. Probably there's probably been a couple minutes of y'all searching the camp. He's gone, long gone. You might find like an arrow or two that have I'm, fallen I'm, out of his 
Even if it's also, weirder. Even before, it has been like several rounds where he was like sw- uh, drifting down the water. Yeah, yeah. Even that's just fair. the combat, he was pretty much gone from the combat map. Mm-hmm. I, uh, my two bolts out of the uh, knoll that made it to the ground. Understood. Awesome. All right. Alrighty. So, so, does anybody do have anything find, they want to do with the scorpion? The, uh, the scorpion is the only really uh, interesting thing. Is there's a giant scorpion that's not hostile. Yeah. So there's like nothing in the tent to loot. There's not. Because so far you only told us. Okay. No. The col- uh, the gold, so. Well, okay. I, excuse me. That's not true. Uh, there are two really crappy fishing poles that the gnolls had set up. <laughs> Yeah. If anyone wants a crappy fishing pole. If anyone wants a crappy <laughs> fishing pole. <laughs> yeah. Not to be confused with a crappy fishing pole. No, this thing just is a stick with some string on it. <laughs> it's real bad. I mean, does, does one of you maybe need a tent? There are tents here. And there, there's take. definitely some questionable <laughs> I, I, leather as well. Some of it I, definitely I, looks like it's humanoid skin that's just been tanned and put on a stick. Actually, to tell you the truth, probably what happened is... I need to find where is my. I need to draw things. This tent is dead because Kovac said he jumped off a pole. That pole was just. It's not even a tent so much as a pole holding some <laughs> leather up. And jumping off the tent is fine. Or jumping off the pole, rather, is fine. But that tent died horribly in the process. <laughs> There's another kill you guys can chalk up. <laughs> How much XP do we get for killing the tent? You None. No experience. It's, it's, it's okay. We uh, level with uh, how's it called? We, with like uh, story uh, milestone. Mm. Yeah. Still, <laughs> that tent could have been worth something. You know, yeah. it's like half a milestone. Do I have? Do I have stats for mimics? <gasps> I do. So I have stats no, for mimics. No, 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 no. It's, right. it's not a mimic. Uh, it's definitely not a mimic. <laughs> it's tempting. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, um, uh, I think it's still early enough that we can. Oh my god! The reaction on. that a, the reaction that a mimic has that like when a creature touches it and the mimic would attack. It's called object lesson. <laughs> That's just me. Teach the players to look at the chest before they open them. <laughs> that's just, that's cruel. Cruel and unusual. And that's where I think we're going to call it for the night, it being 10 o'clock. I have a min-maxing video yeah. to edit that I haven't touched yet because I spent a lot of time rebuilding a character because building in the playtest is entirely different than I'm used to. So thank you guys so much for watching. Robin, Justin, Sam. Oh, Jason is Dragon Claw's real name. Is that correct? No, Matthew. Matthew? Why, where am I getting Jason? Who's Jason? I don't know. I could have swore... Oh, well, I'm real bad with names. I am the worst human being <laughs> ever. Oh, that's okay. Ever. Matthew, Justin, Robin, Sam. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Josh, I hope you see you come back and you hang out with us and you don't have to drop Anthony. Um, actually, there might be a person in one of these tents with the perception check. We'll see if they show up, maybe, is a thing that will happen. <laughs> Thank you guys for yeah. watching. If you watch this on Twitch, tomorrow I'm upgrading my internet so I'll be able to watch the comments and actually stream. But be sure to check out Black Dragon Gaming on YouTube for all of your Pathfinder 1st and 2nd edition needs. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And we are out of here. Say bye, guys. Peace. Bye. bye. bye.